everything now! An interactive comedy show on Twitch where you, the viewers, are in control. Featuring special guests from all over the Twitch community and the Los Angeles comedy scene. Enter a variety of wild scenarios with colorful characters and help steer the story in whatever direction you want. You can vote in polls to make choices, submit images over Twitter and Discord. You can pay to play sound effects. Road ends in 100 feet. What the f***? It's your show too, friend. Hop on in and experience everything now. Hey everybody, it's me, the Big Dutch Rude Van Axelsen. Welcome to Shark's Tank. I'm gonna again pause and repeat this for emphasis. Shark's Tank. We all got that? Did we all hear that? The way I said it? We all picked that up? Okay, good. If this is your first time here, this works very similarly to a different show on television where people come in and pitch products for us to invest in. Um, as I said before, I'm Rude Van Axelsen. I created an algorithm that figures out the exact amount of money you can charge someone for medicine before they die. Thank you very much. Uh, and now I'm just trying to give it back. I'm trying to sort of pay it forward. So we'll be with my other sharks here, uh, hearing some investment pitches and seeing if we're gonna go for it. There's plenty of ways you in the chat can engage with the show. Uh, if you sub, you can pitch a product. Can we have an example of a, of a product pitch? That would be, imagine there was something written there. If something was written there, that would be an example of a product pitch. Because that's how it will look, but something will be written there. Wow, getting a lot of subs already. Thank you so much. And if we get 25 subs, we'll go to our master class, where you can have a 300 or so on one interview with various masters in the finance space. Um, for $5, you can call in a celebrity endorsement. If you were watching the intro trailer, Alejandro Jodorowsky talked about, uh, like, Pokemon? I forgot what he talked about. No, Hey Arnold. That's what he talked about. That's an example of something that might happen if you trigger that. Um, you can also see there are many sound alerts, uh, that can also affect the show, so check those all out. And join the Discord, because there's a viewer submission game in this episode. Um, viewer pitch? Oh, we got a pitch. Social media for pet rocks. Great. Thank you, Dark Web Prosciutto. Bet you a pet social media would be very interesting. Bet you there's some actual genuine heat in that space. <laughs> anyway, I think with all that being said, um, oh, midway through, we will... What, what do we do midway through? Testimonials. Testimonials. You'll hear from people who have gotten their things approved. Thank you for the boo, I deserve that in that moment. You'll hear from people who have gotten things approved by us and we've invested in and how those things are going. With that all being said, it's time for me to introduce my fellow sharks. Let's start with the one who's wearing sunglasses but also not wearing a hat. Go ahead and introduce yourself. Hi, my name is Salazar Silly. Um, I've made a great fortune with my um, with Silly Enterprises. Uh, we do a lot of different businesses, but with a silly twist uh, is what we say. We like to say we put a silly twist on the uh, the gears that turn the world. That turn the world is what we say. <laughs> Salazar Silly is what they call me. Thank you very much. That's great, Mr. Silly. Thank you so much, Mr. Silly. And to the man who's wearing sunglasses, but also a hat, let's hear from you. Hey, how's it going? I'm Luke Hollywood. I'm Paul Hollywood's bastard son, but I'm from America, so he doesn't give a shit about me. But I took the money he makes, because he had to give me some of it to shut the fuck up about who I am, and I turned it into billions. Thank you, God bless. Should one of us take off the sunglasses, or is that going to be confusing for everyone? I just think if you're going to both keep the off. sunglasses on, one of you has to have a hat on, and the other has to not have a hat on. Dutch, you want sunglasses? You, we should have cleared this. No, because that will throw the whole thing off. That will then we'll have two people with sunglasses. Then I would need no another hat. element. Then yeah. I would need a third element. And Luke, Mr. Hollywood, put that hat back on. 
Mr. Hollywood, I need you to put that hat back on. Hey, I didn't Before make, a, I didn't make my Hollywood. first million doing what people told me to do. It's not right. <laughs> I don't know who the fuck I'm looking at. All right, let's go ahead and meet our first presenter. Hey, Sharks. My name is Rex Lazarus, and I've got an idea that I'm sure you're going to want to get involved in. Hold on. <laughs> and we're hearing Mike. Should I take that again? Yeah, you're going to take the whole thing again. Okay. Mic off. All right. Hold on. I'll be right back. All I'm right. out. I'm out. No, 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 no. I'm no, back. Back. no, no, I'm out. He didn't even give the fucking pitch. You don't, you don't, Honestly, get, two you don't get two chances. You chances in business, okay? This yeah. is a good you opportunity think I got for two me chances to do being that his son. What I should have done a while ago, which is you only get to... one. You only get one chance, and you only get one dad. Okay. Okay. Well, I should ask you That's two a cap. little bit about That's yourselves. No cap. No cap. Tell me when. Hang on. You you hang on, because Mr. Silly, I want to ask you what's the most important thing as an investor. What what's your number um, one core principle? When I'm investing in someone, I'm not investing in the product, I'm investing in the person. I'm investing in the idea. Absolutely. Right? So if I agree 100% with If you're coming that. for this if you're coming for the silly money, then you got to bring the silly energy. Maybe do a tickle dance. Maybe do a tickle Maybe dance. Absolutely. And thank you to gifting a sub to Armenia too. Mr. Hollywood, what's the what's the core element for you as an investor? I actually take it so funny, Mr. Silly said that I take the exact opposite approach. I invest <laughs> the product, not the person. Because the moment I was born, my dad told me, and by lack of telling me, that who I was didn't matter. So, okay, that's <laughs> a little grim. Shot talk now? Yeah. Now let's go ahead and meet our first presenter for real, whose mic will be on and all that good stuff. Tell me when. All right, and go. Hi, Sharks. My name is Rex Lazarus, and boy, do I have an idea for you. And I'm, uh, and also a person for you, me, Lex Lazarus. Rex Lazarus. What's I, up? Hold on. I'm out. Hey, Sharks. Sorry, Can I try one, again? One shark's already out. Can I try again? I'm who's out. that? Who's that who's out? Mr. I'm going to get you back what? in. Give me one sec. All right. We're going to try right, to right. get Mr. Can Hollywood ask, back what, in. Can I ask a can I ask a question before he gets started? I have a question. I'd rather you not. Shark. Yeah, go ahead and ask are you a question. Are, are you sick? You talking to me? Yeah, yeah we're you asking if good. you're sick, and also we've triggered a sob story, so. Well, I didn't want to bring this up, but yes, I am sick. I have inverted prostate. <laughs> Ugh. It's upside down and inside out. Now, I feel like obviously, that would still function normally. Nope. You yeah. would think those things cancel each other out. And yes, to a answer what you're all wondering, it is extremely pleasurable. However, <laughs> it's a horrible detriment to my health. And my doctors say I have but five years to live. That is why I'm trying to make the most of these five years by making a shitload of money that I can then pass on to my next of kin, which I've not established yet. Okay. So this money wouldn't even really be for you. It'd be for a fake trial that doesn't exist yet. Not yet. But after I pitch this product, I'm going to be swimming in it. All right, well, before Pussy we that hear is. that, oh gosh. Before we hear that, let's hear the viewer product from home here. Sandwiches but silly from The Remover. Now, does that? My kind of shit. That's that... my kind of shit right there. Okay. Looks like That's The Remover a good idea. and Mr. Silly might be having a conversation at some point. You give me a, hey, you give me a call. Okay, perfect. Let's jump back into it. All right. Mr. Lazarus. Action. Hi, Sharks. My name is Rex Lazarus, and boy, do I have a product and a businessman for you. The product is, I'll show you when the TV goes to my presentation and show the presentation, but his own. Now, everybody is familiar with the popular video game Pokemans, but what they may not be familiar with yet is an even better game that involves catching monsters, but his own. You need to have them. Now, Sharks. I know what you're thinking. Hasn't the little pocket monster thing already been done before? Is that a green Pikachu? No. What is that? That's Trikachu. He's totally <laughs> different. He's he's made out of grass. And that little. What about the blue charm charm? Nope. That's Dripmander. Dripmander. That's Dripmander. He's a totally different guy. And up there, that's you know that's, that's Fire Turtle. Fire. Yeah, okay. Turtle, <laughs> Fire course. Turtle. Fire Turtle? Trikachu, Dripmander, and Fire Turtle are just some of the unique buddies that you can find in the world of 
Buddy Zone. Here's some more information. Now, we've used artificial intelligence technology, technology trained on free use Google Street View images to create a magical world for you to explore in Buddy Zone. <laughs> The, here's so it a looks forest. like it's mostly mostly been trained on um, maybe like Christmas tree farms. Well, hold on. Well, it's also this, a bunch of Burger King. This is just background. one environment. Well, there are there are many environments. Check this out. Here's <laughs> one. Gas stations in the cave. That's well, true. it is trained. It's trained right. on Google Street View images, primarily in in uh, sort of like suburban and urban environments. You know, this one actually gives me an idea. We should put the gas stations where the oil is. Yup. That's smart. I wish I had come up with that idea. And I do have a celebrity yeah. who I'm going to be bringing in to endorse my product. But, wow. <laughs> oh, okay. Disregard that. You're good. Shit. You're good, celebrity. Get ready. Here's another awesome environment. The yes, beach, we have beach, beach biome. Mm. How about a relaxing time at the beach discovering buddies? It's brought to you by Best Buy and Walmart. And that's not the only thing. We also have this awesome volcano uh, area biome. So, he, these are just some of the worlds, but I know what you're thinking. Rex, tell me more about the buddies. I want to know about the buddies and who, how I'm going to be capturing them and yes, what I'm going to be doing with these buddies. Well, of course you can battle your buddies' buddies with your buddies. There's all different right. types of weaponries that you can use for your buddies. RPG, nunchuck, and nondescript, non-intellectually proper, intellectual property covered laser sword. Yep. Trikachu got the rocket launcher. Dripmander got the nunchucks, and you know Fire Turtle got the energy sword. But the energy sword appears to be designed for a four-fingered race of alien creatures. Could be not a turtle. Could be designed for anything. These 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 Just items. The handle are, design calls to mind a four-fingered race of alien creatures. That maybe their nobility exceeds their grasp of the leaders that they foolishly follow. Potentially, that's, well, we can get into Buddy's own lore because there is a lot of it. But, and thank you for that subscription. But I know what you're thinking. Rex, battling buddies, that's been done before. Pokemans is all about battling buddies or Pokemans. Well, that's where Buddy Zone flips the script and gives players an opportunity to do something that you can't do in Pokemans. Put your buddies to work. Yeah. You don't want your buddies fighting all the time because how are they going to be productive if they're battling each other? Give Trikachu a hammer. Give Dripmander. I gotta say the the fire saw that the saw that the fire turtle has looks like something that would be designed for a four fingered alien. Okay, well, I appreciate your notes, and we can pass those along to the developers. Okay, I got it's a just question. Frustrating for me. Noble, okay, noble race of four fingered alien. Can I ask a yeah, I like to I'm ask a clarifying it. question. Did you say nunchucks earlier? <laughs> What's wrong with that? You said numchucks. Yeah, like numchucks, like numb. What? Are, like numb? Like, like if I hit you numb? with a numchuck, your whole hand and face is gonna be numb. Wouldn't be numb, it'd be in pain. From hurting nunchucks. so bad. Nunchucks would be no chucks. This guy, I'm there's out. two chucks. Shut the fuck up. I'm out. Sorry, I'm sorry. I'm out. Mr. Hollywood's I'm out, out again. Get back if in. If you can't even speak, if you can't even speak, to, if you can't even speak. <laughs> How am I supposed to trust you with my money? If Mr. Hollywood's out, I'm out. Nope. <laughs> Get right, back well, in I here. I remain tentatively in. All right. Wait till you see my celebrity. But in the meantime, All right. okay. Okay. We're just doing these in the middle. <laughs> We're pitching bald. <laughs> I Can I get through my like. pitch? Bald. This I like. That's not part of my thing. That's a different thing. It's very this silly like. when a man if is that, bald. I can do that. This, Change that to be your thing. I'll invest m most of the money I have right now in my wallet. Dripmander is bald. That no, is. he's not. He's hairless. Okay, That's completely hold on. different. Let's keep he's moving in my presentation. Now, put your buddies to work, okay? You're going to want to exploit the labor of your buddies, all right? That's what it's all about. Put these buddies to work. Get them making widgets. Get them making graphics cards like they do at NVIDIA. <laughs> Prevent your buddies from organizing. All right, that is a key part of Buddy Zone. Is these guys are going to want to get together and form some sort of collective action group where they are able to get benefits. They're going to want to get paid. You're going to want to go in there and prevent the buddies 
from making some sort of collective that you don't want them to find out how powerful they are in numbers. That's a big part of the gameplay. Stop that. Um, hang, I'm hearing your celebrity endorsement has just arrived. Oh, great. Yeah, come on out. Hey, hey, hey it's me, Jared Fogle. Yep. Oh, no. <laughs> We're rehabilitating Jared Fogle. Oh, no. See how big my pants are? Check that Whoa. out. Imagine what he's working with down there with pants that big. We're getting him big again. That's right. <laughs> You're gonna make him big again? We're gonna make Jared big again. I'm fat Make phobia. Jared big again. Make Jared big again. Yep. Oh, I thought and he loves Buddy Zone. <laughs> That's right. Buddy Zone reminds me of my time in prison, where I am right now. You know, the buddies have to work, I have to work too, making license plates. Those new digital ones. That's right. That's right. <laughs> I put the I put the buddies on the new digital license plates. What? I'm rehabilitated. Jared's gonna be a playable character within Buddy Zone. You're gonna be able to find him and capture him in a small ball. With one thing, That's you can't scary. hurt me at all. That's right. He is <laughs> invulnerable. I basically nerfed. I am OP in this game. That's right. All right. Thank you, Jared. Thank you I appreciate that. You can go back to prison. And let's let's stop looking at that. And let's get Jared, so let's get Subway Jared out of sight and out of And can I Jared. get a confirmation that all three sharks Thank are you, back Jared. in? I'm, I remain in despite that. Personally, I will remain in. All right, we're going to keep going. Look, hold on. I said, listen, I said I'd do it for the product, not the person. So if you want to bring in Jared from Subway as your main spokesperson, by my <laughs> own by my own rules, I'm in. There we go. It well, really thank Hollywood's in, I'm in. Thank you. Now, I, I have to share a sob story. I mean, a real true story about my life. You know, it hasn't always been easy for me. I actually was a business owner prior to inventing Buddy Zone. Very much. And, well, let's just say all of my workers unionized and I could not afford to pay them anymore. It was a tragic story for me where I had a shitload of money, and then I had slightly less money because all of a sudden I had to pay all these people a fucking living wage. It ruined me financially. I had to sell one of my houses and one of my cars. That's when I decided I gotta come up with something else. A video game that I can outsource to programmers overseas who don't have any of these stupid labor laws. And that's where Buddy Zone came in. Now, as I was saying, you want to stop these buddies from organizing. They're going to want to organize. And there's way more of them. But you need to use your buddies to create generational wealth. All right? That's what it's all about. Why are you, those signs all on the lawn? I have a question. This have a was question. procedurally generated. Well. Uh, yeah, here's my question. What would be the keywords you typed in to get that, you know, shape of house? That one? <laughs> shape of house. <laughs> that, that I, particular house. Just like... What kind of, you know, it feels like what maybe. style? I just, actually, I just yeah, like what took style a- style of house? I just took a selfie of myself and said, what type of house do you think a guy who looks like me would live in? <laughs> mm -hmm. And okay. and the artificial Very intelligence- Very conversational with the AI. Yeah. I wanted to make sure it felt real to my story because the Buddy Zone story is my story transposed <laughs> into video game. All right, Sorry, I'd like to actually... follow that up with that. In what way? Well, first of all, my house is look like that. And uh, all the stuff about how you want to stop unions, that was also kind of part of my story, okay. my and journey as an entrepreneur. But the monsters. The, mo the where monsters, do the buddies come in? Well, the monsters sort of uh, symbolize my stepchildren, but we don't have to get too deep into that. It doesn't really come into the story. It's just that was sort of a jumping off point. Did you bring your stepchildren? Did I bring my stepchildren here? Yeah. No, I'm parents. not allowed. I, they're not allowed near me anymore. Okay. What I have for you... Mm. Is a is another piece of lore here. Now, just like in Pokemans, we have an evil group that you are trying to defeat, Team Missile, and they are a they are social justice warriors who are trying to defend the rights of buddies. Even though buddies is just monster weirdos, they're saying don't eat the buddies, give the is buddies a living wage. Wait, wait, hold on, you're, you're eat eating them? the buddies? Well, yeah, there's a they're animals. It's like cows and chickens and pigs and shit. And, I think you and, use tools though. We don't sure. usually eat, Yeah, I mean eat a monkey I mean a monkey labor, can though. use a tool. What? You don't eat those? No, I don't eat monkeys. It's animals. I don't eat monkeys. We I don't are eat apex oxen. predators. I don't eat 
Someone's booing you guys. I don't think they're booing us. Okay. I don't think they're booing us. <laughs> no, I don't. You got to defeat Team Context Missile. Context clues. I don't think it's us. You By know, any means necessary. Is that necessary. how Missile is spelled? Just, was that what? Another question here? Is that how Missile is, is spelled? How, it is. I thought so. It is. Uh, Unless we're talking wait, about like. Wait, you're going to jump down the throat of my other shark? He's not allowed to ask if that's how missile is spelled? Well, I, Dude, you came at me. I wasn't, I, was I wasn't accusing. I'm, a, he I'm was just asking, asking questions. I'm trying, to, I'm trying to learn about your business and you're jumping down my throat. I'm out. God <laughs> fucking damn it. All right. I remain. And, I, and, I, and you know what? And you know what? I didn't like the way you talked to my friend. And while I do put the business before the person, I'm out. If Hollywood's out, in. I'm out. I remain in. You guys are pissing me the hell off. <laughs> Hang on, we have three viewer pitches we have to hear. Can we do that at the end? Shouldn't, shouldn't, shouldn't we do that at the end of each submission? No, Why would we do I'd pitches like in the middle now. of a presentation? Like do. Do. Why don't we just do that right before we go to the next segment? Here's that feels like a natural do. time. Every so this often like throughout off the remainder of the pitch, topic. we're just going to throw one up without warning. That feels that <laughs> feels like a bad idea. That's not even anything. <laughs> that's not. That's the last one. It's not. There's not an idea there. That's not a business. It's two votes uh, for ball. Two it doesn't even say for ball. That's two votes yeah. for Bob. What's votes? You can Who's say voting? I'm in. What are you talking about votes? Yeah! You can say I'm in! <laughs> Thank you for the raid, a lot of, lot of glo glots. Can I start over? You can no. say I'm in! <laughs> no. I'm gonna start over. Uh, no, don't start over, but start. No, no, no. Please don't uh, start over. I don't like the idea. I think tons it's. Of unique. I think it's can trash. we cut to a wide so I'm not being cropped halfway out? <laughs> No. I'm going to cut you wide I'm going to cut you wide way. I'm going to cut you in half. Okay. As you can see. I'm going to cut you open and see what your prostate looks like. It's not good. It's on the outside. It's you inside out and upside down. down. I bet so you I wouldn't, wouldn't have to cut them open. It's on the outside. I wouldn't even be able to tell that your prostate was weird based on that. All if right. it's inside out I and upside down, that. I wouldn't even be able to tell that something's off about inside it. Inside out, upside down. Can you feel my prostate? <laughs> Why is there a timer? <laughs> <laughs> what is that? What's if that? I saw your prostate hanging out of you, I would say, and I thought they smelled bad on the inside. Okay, you guys are making me feel really bad. You guys are making me feel bad about myself and my ideal. What is this? What is this? <laughs> I'm in. That's not okay, even. That's I'm not in. anything. I'm in. I'm in. That's not I'm anything. I'm so in on that one. I'm in. Okay. I'm, I'm so in, in on, that on that one. one. Come on. That is, Come on. That is in my portfolio. That's I'm so good. in on that one. That's I'm pissed good. off. That, that's, that's good. Nice. All right. Continue your presentation from where you were. I don't wanna. No, no. Just finish. You yourself. guys are pissing me off. Just finish it off. I'm still in. I flew here from Niles. I'm from Niles. Niles, Illinois. I don't. Why know do you have a plantation? Means... Why do you have a plantation style house in Niles, Illinois? I don't. That's my aspirational house. If I lived in Buddy Zone, idiot. Let's try to be. You fucking idiot. A wonkomatic and tubulator that pisses on you from Donnie Darko Milicic. Wow, really good <laughs> username there. Really good yeah. username there. All right, let's keep going. I'm sorry. All right, here how much it costs. Not eighty nine ninety nine, or you get it free with Prager U. So basically, what you do is you watch an eight minute Prager U video, and then you get to play eight minutes Prager. of the video game. It's a minute to minute. It's minute to minute. You watch eight. You watch eight minutes of Prager U. Prager. 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 You would I'm fucking out. know. Prager. <laughs> Anyway, you watch eight minutes of goddamn email it. toilet, email toilet, the only toilet that lets you email. Why would you want that? Because I can in. do email. What are you talking about? I'm in. There's a toilet that lets you do an email. Guess what? In that world, we won't need your stupid little buddies because the fucking toilet's gonna be doing all the work for us. Dumb, dumb. They're not stupid. When you think, of, when you think of, can, please don't talk over the sharks. You want our money? You're gonna be thank you, thank you. <laughs> When I take a dump in the toilet, I'm sending an email to the sewer. In my mind, that's what I'm doing. So it makes it's the same device. But don't jack off at me. I'm gonna start jacking off in my room. I'm gonna start jacking off in my home office. My girlfriend makes me send her an email every time I have a complete dump. A complete dump. Every single goddamn day. 
I have to email my girlfriend when I have a complete dump. That means wiped, that means tushy washed, that means dry and ready to resume the day's activities. Are you fucking done? Hat <laughs> that is specifically designed to be worn only during sex from Dark Web Prosciutto. Thank you very much. Uh, can I wear it while I'm taking the dump? He catch my drift. <laughs> Who wants to be my buddy? That's it. That's the end of the presentation. Who wants to be my buddy? I'm out. Fuck you guys. You don't even deserve to be Listen, my buddy. Hold fuck on, you. Hold no. On, fuck hold you. On. No. Fuck you. Hold on. Get the fucking on. timer out of here. I mean, can I tell? Can, no. Can I? Can I talk to you for a second? Fine. Okay, man to man. Be nice right? to me. Be nice to me. I respect. Go fuck yourself. I respect <laughs> what you do, and I respect you as a businessman. Thank you. And you need to shut the fuck up, or I'm gonna kill you. Okay. And I respect the he and the way that you work and the things you stand for are beautiful to me, and that's what makes America go. And if I hear another fucking word out of your mouth, I'm gonna fucking kill you. And I'm out. I I thought you. Um, Fuck you. I thought that. Fuck I you. I don't give a shit what you think. <laughs> I thought that idea was terrible, and I think you're an awful businessman. And me? Well, let's just say I'm thinking a little differently than these two yahoos. Yep, I'm in. But let me tell you what we're gonna do. We're gonna make this thing a mobile gotcha game with pay-to-win mechanics. Ain't nobody unionizing if the mechanics are pay-to-win. I like they that. They won't have the collective bargaining power to overthrow the game's owners. This guy gets it. What if we make you could buy Jared Fogle and play as him, and he's like invincible, and he can kill and the buddies. And whoever has the most buddy points at the end of the month gets to meet Jared through the visitation right. rules at the local jail. This guy gets I it. I was out. I was out. But your description of Jared as a sort of invisible god that exists in this world. I said invincible, but invisible is cool too. Invisible and invincible. Oh, I was thinking invisible like he can maybe like he could be as close to you as he wants and That's you would good. never know. That's really good. That he's going to be really I'm into in. that, I think. All right, cool. I need $9. Nine dollars. I need nine dollars. Well, you're asking us for nine dollars. Yes. Four fifty. Four fifty. You got a stake in your shark. Card. What? What? Four fifty. Four fifty. You want to go halvesies? Yeah. Yeah. Let's go halvesies for fifty percent stake. All right. And I need someone to validate my parking. No. All right. What's this? Cool sword stored on the blockchain. We could do that. We're gonna take that. We're gonna take that idea. That's up. That's in my. That's in my video game now. How does it work? It's a, Jared Fogle has it. Thanks for coming in. Okay, that's it? Yep. Fuck you. You? The other two guys? You? I was on your side the whole time. Nope, you I were never, mean to me. I was never out until the- I like these sunglasses, guys. Hi. Okay. <laughs> we hit this, get, get out of here. All right, well folks, we hit the sub goal. Stop, stop that. Stop that. <laughs> uh, a mobile Here we go. cave. Come on. Finally. Now this is perfect. Now my concern about this would be uh, Walmart taking taking that proprietary technology and just running with it. And you know, there's Walmart brand goon caves all in every small town, basically. You know what they say in the Bible? Hmm. They say it's better for your seed to fall in the belly of a whore than it for for it to lay on the ground. Is that true? Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Is, Favorite yeah. passage. This is better to get a sex worker pregnant than to jerk off. Mark Exodus 118. Yeah. Look it up. It's right there, brother. Most important words my father ever told to me. The only ones, too. My father's Paul Hollywood, one of the judges of Great British Break Golf. <laughs> do you, do you, you think it would be about British. bread? Do you, uh, Mr. Hollywood, do you feel weird that your dad is dating a 23 year old right now? Didn't know that. <laughs> Didn't know that. <laughs> I, and, my, and as the Bible also said, I am not my father's keeper. So when when my father does something, the day the only thing I have from him is is his name and his dashing hairline, and those are the only two things I inherited from him. The rest I could give a hell's less. I hate desserts, and I and I'm more of a I'm more of a savory than a sweets guy. Do you have like a big fat finger you poke into stuff? Yeah, but it is steaks to see if they're medium rare. Wow. Thank you very much. 
Okay, we're gonna go to the master class. We're gonna hear no, from. No, we're gonna do the B game, I think. No, no, no we hit the sub. Oh, we gotta do the master. Oh, you're right, you're right. We're gonna go to the master class to hear from some of the the great businessmen of our day, and they're gonna give you. I've advice. heard a B. Sorry. Say it. I heard a B movie, a B game. This is ridiculous. And let's hit that bumper. <laughs> let's sit in this for a minute. No, let's hit that bumper. I'm an NBA player, but also an entrepreneur because the salary that you get for being an NBA player, well, you can't just kind of sit on that and you got to let them, you know, you have to use that money, let it work for you, okay? You got to let it grow. So I'm going to answer any questions that you have for me and I can give you some of my business acumen for the next two minutes. I'd be really honored to help you out. Yes, my name is Keyball Chat. I'm a Milwaukee Box, someone like the C team, basically. Uh, do you know what Power World is now? Barely. Uh, Shark Stank, this guy's got the goods. What's your favorite kind of caviar? One that you put on a piece of sourdough bread. Uh, I, the one that tastes like nothing, basically. Uh, how do I become a landlord? Mm, terrorize your neighbors and then steal their building and then use the squatter's rights laws to uh, own that building and then destroy it and build a condominium with your NBA uh, money. What's your pick for best picture? Uh, I guess Anatomy of a Fall. Maybe I gotta think about that for a little bit. Are you excited for Rules Room? Absolutely. It's gonna be a great time. It's gonna be on March 3rd. Check that out. Uh, thoughts on hemorrhoids? I don't like it anymore. Uh, what's my FT, uh, oh, uh, field, my, my foot, my field throw percentage? 23, not yet. What's your mother's maiden name? Uh, Gloucestershire. Uh, what a ball is life? Uh, life is ball. Mother's maiden name, Gloucestershire. How do I get a wife? Uh, you're gonna have to go to uh, one of these speed dating things. That's where, I, where I'm in my third wife. And uh, I'm anticipating meeting my fifth wife there too. Uh, love or basketball? Basketball is love, but also basketball. Uh, what if a basketball but heavy? That would be very scary, and I think that that would actually change the game up real nice. It would be kind of like murder ball, but for people who are able-bodied, not that murder ball is, you know, not that difficult or whatever like that. Gay son or thought daughter, thought daughter. What do you use? What street do you live on in the third grade? I lived on uh, Cedar Brook. Um, what are the three numbers on the back of your credit card? Uh, 911. Are you also a DJ? Yes, I'm also a sheriff in Florida as well as in Oklahoma. Should kissing be legal? I don't know. We got to talk about that. Church, mail order brides worth it. Yes, my second wife was a mail order bride. Uh, how tall is basketball? Nine foot five. Is your granny style still valid? Absolutely. You got to be doing it like this. Yeah. Uh, shots out, Lippy Tron. Um, what's your favorite security number? Uh, four two one. Uh, can I do an alley oop? Yeah. Check this out right here. Buy, buy, sell, boil. Hey, 
I'm Garth Wisnowski. I run six Long John Silvers and one Long John Gold. <laughs> How'd I make my money? Well, it was an insurance settlement. I walked onto the track at the Indy 500 and got hit by all the cars. Pay up, fuckers. So what do you want to know about business? Boil or boy hole? Hey, any port in a storm, am I right? <laughs> Hey Garth, what's your mother's maiden name? What is this? You trying to steal my password, you joker? Ha! <laughs> it's Hinkleheimer. Is Gary a good name for a cat? I don't care about that. I care about making money. How long is the optimal jerk sesh? Long enough to come and short enough not to bother the neighbors. Why do you still look like you got hit by every car in an Indy 500? Because I did, as I just said. What are you holding? It's called a phone. One of these is optimal in a business environment. <laughs> Does the carpet match the drapes? Sure, I'll show you my pubes. <laughs> Tell me about your investments. Six Long John Silvers, one Long John Golds. What's a good pump and dump? That jerk sesh we talked about earlier. What is six times seven? That's impossible. <laughs> it's all about the Benjamins. I'm I right? Who are you, Luke Hollywood? You can't talk for shit. Uh, what would you do if you made too much money? Well, I'd be here, because that's what happened. Penny stocks, question mark? Yeah, she sounds like a nice girl. Hopefully she invites you to the stock hop. Uh, <laughs> the stock hop is like a sock hop, <laughs> but for entrepreneurs, I figure you guys would get that. <laughs> What's your favorite reggae? <laughs> I like the Buffalo Soldier. In the heart of Long John Silvers, <laughs> making up the fish fry for the Catholics during Lent and time. Oh, baby. Bank balance is just a number? No, bank balance is a mindset. I literally cannot overdraft on my bank balance because it's all up here. What's your go-to Long John order? Fucking clean up, Gary. Clean up. I'm in charge here. Clean up. Clean up right now. I don't care if you just did it. I didn't watch you do it. So clean up. Clean up right now. That's my go-to. Hey, I gotta go. I got business to attend to. Do I wear makeup? You'll find out when I show you my pubes on the next episode. <laughs> Great. Did another one in? Hello, hello. My name's Bison Melchior. I made my millions inventing an airline where you can smoke. And now I'm here to give you some awesome tips on how you can be just like me. Give me your questions and I'll tell you the secret to my success. <laughs> Did it with Jay-Z or then I missed it. Let me read over here instead. Blunts are just back out. Ha, <laughs> trick question. Neither. Free base that shit. Where do you, uh, what, uh, favorite type of fur? This is, uh, 100% weasel. Stitched together. What does your necklace mean? It's an S for success. Only meth? Only meth on my flights. Richard and Branson? Richard and Branson. Loudest bird? Any bird that's on my plane, that's why I've only got the, the noise canceling headphones. Weren't you in Spaceballs? I wish. I'm actually recreating Spaceballs right now completely with AI. What's, uh, when's the next recession? Buddy, we're in one. Wake up. Uh, hair product recommendation? No, no hair product. I wake up, I shake my head, and I turn up like this. Are you chewing gum right now? No, I'm chewing backy, mate. What's it? Uh, what if a basketball but heavy? I like it. Uh, are you from England or Boston? Neither. Can you say Mike again? Mike again. Uh, what about some Maccas? That sounds nice. Do you do you wish Florida? Do you wish Florida was sinking the ocean? Nah, I wish everything but Florida was sinking the ocean. Everything around it make Florida the only thing above the water. How I many? Uh, what's your what, what's your Long John Silver's order? One shrink. <laughs> One big shrink. Oh, you're from New Orleans. <laughs> I I think that's about does it for me. Welcome back.
that. Yo, bring the bring the Long John Silver's fucker back. Bring it back out. I want to talk to him on the stage. I want to talk to him on the stage. No, I want to talk to him. I'm not going to do the show until I talk to him. Okay. Have him pitch to us. Give me a second. Did Give you hear what second. he said to me? Did you hear what he said to me? He, he said, I the can't, Luke man. You can't talk like Luke Hollywood. Well, I have a few choice words to say to that motherfucker no, as soon as he gets out here about you why know, I can't okay. talk so good. You know I mean? About no, why about I can't talk so good. Yeah. The Long John, the fucker who owns the Long John Silvers. Get him out here. Get him out here. This motherfucker was pissed. I was pissed. He likes to throw rocks and hide his hand like he didn't do it. Oh, who threw it? Who threw the damn rock? I threw it. I threw it. And I'm back. That. I got it on my Uber. Listen. Listen. You want to know why I talk so bad? It's because when I was a baby, my father, Paul Hollywood, hit me so many times in the head because he thought if he did it enough, it would make me have a British instead of an American accent. And guess what? It didn't work. And now I just sound fucked up and crazy all the time. So next time you oh, make fun of all the way Hollywood someone's been talking, don't. All Hollywood spent the first four years of this guy's life poking his big meaty finger into his fontanelle. Like he was checking if it was done. I'm not a cupcake. And you make fun I'm a of him human for that, being. even though he's. I am not a cupcake. I am a human being. To quote my favorite author. Wow. I guess when you make it to the top in business, you think you can step on anyone. But I've been yes. humbled here today. I've learned a lot, and I apologize. I only got hit by every car in the Indy 500. I have no idea what it's like to get poked by like when you're a baby. So your mm -hmm. story is definitely harder than me. A guy who was hit by yep. every car in the Indy 500. I apologize. Because yep, you're an adult. Because you're an adult. So I mean, if, if any, you knew anything, I didn't about specify. Anything, I was a preteen. Sorry to cut you off, but I was a preteen, and I, I was, was being sarcastic earlier. Get him out of here. We're done. We're done. I hope my Uber's still there. It is. Okay, good. Yeah, we're gonna get you home. Piece of shit. Luke, you take. You, sorry, you I just had to handle that business. You take deep breaths, okay? Are y'all? We're good? here to give people an opportunity. I'm okay. Are all, are I'm, okay. I'm good. I'm yeah. good. I just think I have a right to defend myself on national television, don't I? We got some viewer pitches. All right, we've got some viewer pitches we have to hear, and then right. hopefully Mr. Hollywood will calm the hell held down. I'm calm. Right. I'm cool as a cucumber. Hard boiled tanga egg and you can eat it. From Migraine Thresher. Thank you very much. Hard now, boiled egg, but also you can eat it. The tangas, those are Ivan Ooze's minions in the first Power Rangers movie. <laughs> and I could not I could not <laughs> give you a good answer on that. Nah. It's a silicone Luke, it's a silicone egg that you put on your your cock. And it stretches around your cock and it's a slippery egg. Stretchy oh, egg. I didn't even uh, know that either. Sunglasses of the month club. Oh, that could be cool. Y'all yeah, want to rip on that? No, no. not really. <laughs> it's a good idea. I'd invest in it. Easy. I mean, you guys That's are the sunglass easy. wearers. Right over. Know. Yeah. Nah. Boom. That's like a slow ball over home plate. Doesn't have anything for me. I don't. I already have sunglasses. Why would I need them of the month? <laughs> okay. No, yes. There yes, we go. go. This is funny. Oh. All right. Funny. Come on! That's funny. That's good. Okay, we like that. So it's yeah. like a gun, but it's also like a. A tank Oh, can I? Can I? I yeah, like to do a little punch up on this idea. Now you would think right? The, you, your dick goes in the barrel. Nope, it goes in the ammo slot. And when you come, you shoot out the cum. That's what I was. Thinking. Like bullets. Yeah. Amazing. Like bullets. That's amazing. Here's one more. Oh, okay. The bitch coaster. <laughs> now, is this like a coaster or like a roller coaster? I, that's too crazy, man. All right. <laughs> that's crazy. We got a prototype of the gun that jerks you off as well. Oh, cool. You gonna put your dick in that? I think while this next presentation's happening, just know whenever we're not cut to me, I'm I'm fucking this gun. Oh, we got one more. Oh, sorry, we got one more. Fuck yeah. gun! That's such a good name for it. The fuck gun? Yeah, fuck that gun. would be a yeah. good name for fuck it. Fuck gun's good, yeah. Fuck like, gun. Like a cock 22, like a Glock. A uh, cock 22. Come on. Yeah. Well, that's one that's of the their... models, you know? Yeah, yeah. Magnum uh, penis revolver. There you go. Recreational version of the machine. And I'm not going to read what the rest the of this. Fuck? Yeah. Oh, what the fuck? 
fuck? I do know what we're talking about. I did see that article. That does happen. They milk the guys when they go down to I make can't. more beautiful Jewish babies. Let's go. I ahead can't and comment meet on our next this because I can let's, say let's, it. Let's, I Mr. Hollywood, say it. Mr. Hollywood, I can Mr. Say Hollywood, it. I can say it. you are you can't say my it. mom Mr. was Hollywood. Jewish. I have a comment. Mr. Hollywood. Jewish. Mr. Hollywood, I'm gonna have to ask you to chill the fuck out. We're gonna hear from our next presenter. I'm chill. Demonetized. That's how it goes sometimes. Yep. Hi Sharks, <laughs> I'm Wayne Ash Shelton. I'm so excited to be here today on Sharks Tank. Webster's Dictionary defines tank as, <laughs> I'm just kidding, starting with a joke and a little bit of levity. <laughs> a little bit about me, I, like I got my guy. MBA from CSU Alcatraz. Alcatraz? That's right, CSU Alcatraz. Oh, man. man, you get your dick out of that gun quickly when you cut back to yourself. Yeah, yeah, I'm good, I can sense it. Yeah, I got my MBA from CSU Alcatraz. I also worked on the Fitbit 2, which counts steps and stepchildren. So as you can see, it has the usual numbers plus two stepdaughters. And that's that's my just that always, every time you look at the gun, it says you have two stepdaughters at the watch. If you lose one, if you gain one, the step, the Fitbit 2 will count that. That's been my biggest invention so zero, far. If I have zero, change that manually? Zero? Yeah, it could always say zero. Do you change that manually, or like, does when the when you when your daughter dies at the hospital, it just automatically updates? To like now you're down to one. We have synced up with most healthcare systems in this great God. United States, and we change the abacus back at our lab. Once the abacus moves, it'll be reflected on your Fitbit. All right, sorry. Please continue. You might recognize me from SportsCenter Top Ten. I was hit by two foul balls in the head at a minor league baseball game. <laughs> A little bit about me. I love innovation, but it's been a while since I had a hit. I'm a single father, and I take my glasses off in photos sometimes. That's great. I have four beautiful sons, <laughs> 8, 8, 12, and 8. We got Axel, Anthony, Arkimboldi, and Alfie. What is this? <laughs> Some music that was supposed to be playing behind the thing, but oh, it's in yeah, front of their beautiful it. faces. I can hear it. These are my sons. They're is my this world. Is copyrighted? For sure it is. All right, let's go you ahead might and turn it off. Down. Let's go ahead and next slide it. Just kind of trying to get you guys to feel the why of my presentation. They are my why. Okay. And I, is it this? Is this your why, or is <laughs> the like music your why? Playing. It's still playing it's like in the, the next slide. For sure, it's still, still playing, playing yeah. very loudly. Yeah, in the next slide. <laughs> and now let's get rid of it. And now I have your attention. <laughs> you, have, you have my attention. There we go. The band? What was that, Mr. Hollywood? You're your sons are the band? I guess I'm a little confused. Could you say more? It was just music that was supposed to be playing over the slide, but somehow ended up on top of it. My sons are not in a band. They're 8, 8, 12, and 8. And yeah, they love an kids' orchestra. cuisine. It's not called a band when it's they're doing it's an orchestra. So they're in the orchestra, and one of them is the conductor. The one that's oh, kind of a 12 year old. Oh, yeah, I was yeah, just repeating older. what Mr. Hollywood said, but uh, he's good at talking, so I'm sure he got it right. So, the in terms of my play product, drums. <laughs> the eight-year-old can play drums. Which eight-year-old? I'm just saying. There's one three children. Yeah, one of them, and one of them can play rhythm, and one of them could be lead, and then the other one could be the conductor or singer, as we call it, a rock band. So you think yeah. an orchestra is a conductor who sings, lead, <laughs> percussion? <laughs> <laughs> what and is the lead play? Is this a good Okay. Well, drums uh, no one's no one's pushing the point on drums. I would never push the point on drums. Somebody has to play the drums. Somebody has to. All right, let's let's get back to your presentation. <laughs> Nobody wants to, somebody has to. Okay, this product, we've all been there. Afternoon slump, don't have any energy. Or maybe we have ill-fitting clothes. God, too big, too small. Oh no, pollution in our world world today. This has all happened to all of us. We've been sick before. You know, our phone has been down on battery. What if there was a product? What if I told you, Sharks, that there was a product that could deal with all of these disparate problems that we face on a day-to-day -day basis? Thank you very much. Welcome to the world of Flab. I'm gonna toss it over to you, Shark. Thank you very much. That's our prototype right there. Our sweater. That's right. Flab, of course, stands for fabric, life-giving, automatized, ash brilliance. That's right, I made it with my family. I've been working on it for years, actually. And then my son, Arkimboldi, came in and solved it in about two seconds. He's so smart. Are you feeling stronger? 
I'm supposed to feel physically stronger from this? Physically stronger, prevents pollu pollution, will get you through the afternoon Perlution. slump. I'll, I'll yes, that's right, Mr. Hollywood. I made a mistake. Thank you for keeping me honest. That's a certified Luke Hollywood moment. <laughs> and I can't wait to get a certified Salazar silly moment later too. <laughs> My son Archimboldi read Freakonomics and got way different than he was before. <laughs> now he's teaching his other kids how to play. Right wow. It's gonna happen. Next, that's that's one of the it's gonna happen maybe five more wait. times. It's five we can learn, copyrighted videos. We can from learn this. from this. So imagine your son is that tuba player instead of that old fuck. And maybe your son this would be idea, a tuba yeah. player. They also might be playing percussion. Listen, I have to say, idea. just know. The longer this music is playing, the more likely it is this is the only time this presentation will ever be seen or heard. So just just bear that in mind as you proceed. That works for oh. me, because I have a feeling I'm going to make a sale. <laughs> I only need one. Anyways, on that last slide, Archimboldi is kind of taking a leadership role in the house. So the way Flab works is through nanotechnology, obviously. It improves your health. It's also made out of sustainable fabric because I want a better world for my children. And yes, it's going to happen again. Okay. My sons, who now look up to Archimboldi. Okay. And this is <laughs> your yeah, sons in the future? Looking at the music they Just made try together. to be talking over it the whole time if you can. Just and try to so, never wait, hold on. Is this so you've made, you used AI to make a video of your sons in the future and maybe their wives and their children are kind of started a whole big band together? Say more on that. Yeah. That's right, a big band where no one's forced to play drums. That's the future that Flab imagines, where no one has to play drums. And this is an orchestra. We no established that drums. what this is called is an orchestra. We keep calling it a band. It's not a band. I I'm mean, trying... have you ever heard of the term big band? A big band orchestra. Hmm. No. <laughs> and let's go ahead, let's go to the next That's copyrighted right. song. That's let's not go ahead right. and jump to the next We'll one. get there in a second. <laughs> Archimboldi has taken control of the house. He now calls me Aaron Dad, like an Aaron boy. Mm. And every night he makes my other sons put their hands in a pile and say that they will only follow him. He brought me in for career day. He didn't let me talk. He said I could sit and learn something from someone who's actually grown. This suit also helps me process lactose and sucrose. How amazing is that? Is there anything Flab can't do? Can I be honest? Mm -hmm. This is Ernest. It might have something to do with drinking seltzer. Since I put this on, my stomach's starting to hurt a little bit. Good, your body's adapting. And my body's adapting? <laughs> the nanotechnology is beginning to fuse. It will start with your belly button and then work through the rest of your body. So, my sons, they have replaced me and uh, my son Archimboldi gave me the sex talk. I actually learned a few things. What did you learn? <laughs> I learned that you can actually do anal. That's okay. I thought it was just a joke my friends were telling me. Not okay. Your eight-year-old okay. son told you you're able to have anal sex and it's okay? Archimboldi's 12, and he was, he's read Freakonomics. Where's the 12-year-old? Sorry, sorry. Where's the 12-year-old? Come on. Your 12-year-old you son told you it's okay if you have anal well, sex. Well, yeah, that's what, I'm sorry, I'm on your side with this dude. This is what this public education is teaching you. I mean, that's around the time he gets sex ed. They're always, I mean, this shit is crazy. I don't want to even get into it. They actually got re-monetized. Oh, wow. <laughs> Uh, wow, YouTube it was just Venmo bus. It was so such a powerful message that we're getting paid to spread it. Thank you, Biden campaign. That's right. Thank you, Joe Brandon, for all your generous donations to the Everything Now show. Let's jump back in. My son Archimboldi gets gifts from the other kids for Father's Day now. I get gerbil bombed. My kids know I'm afraid of gerbils, so they hide them throughout the house and then call me a stupid piece of shit when I can't find them and they scurry between the walls. But I'm here to talk about Flab, which also makes it easier to do power poses. Hit a power pose. You've got the Flab sweater on. Hit a power pose. Feels right, doesn't it? I don't, I don't feel much different. And that's the genius of it. What's it supposed to be triggering in me right now? What's supposed to be happening to me right now? Dopamine, increased health benefits, less pollution in the world. Less pollution in the world. So when I strike a power pose, I'm capturing carbon? As, as a tree would, and passing out oxygen. And can, do you have any data or scientific explanation for how any of this works? Yes. Let me keep going to another monetized video. Okay. Yeah, we're bringing in your celebrity, by the way. Yay! It's like two celebrities. Yay! You know what they Yay. say. Happy boys, joyful noise. Hungry kids, another trip to Lids. 
When I don't give my kids... <laughs> when I don't give my kids kids cuisine on time, they go to Lids and show me their yes chase policy. That's right. <laughs> They'll trick someone in Lids into stealing a hat and then beat the tar out of them, knocking the hat right off their head to try and emasculate me further. They'll wait, run wait, 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 no, 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 I'm sorry. I have to get this clarified. Your kids will all go to a lids together. The four of them will talk a man into stealing from the lids. And as soon as he walks out of the lids, they'll all collectively beat the shit out of him in front of you to make you feel emasculated. You asked for clarification and then you explained it exactly perfectly. <laughs> Seems like you just wanted a hot dog and show that the flab's working for you. Okay. Increase memory recall. Get my celeb in here! Alright, let's bring in the celebrity. God, no. Hi, it's Jared me, Fogel. Jared Fogel. I'm Filipino <laughs> now. Yeah. And I've, I've got these flat pants, and yeah. boy, I'm feeling strong and ethnic. Come on, He's man! I didn't, I didn't expect okay. this! The flab system right. really, really works, and <laughs> mabuhai to all my lolas and lolas out there. Fogopito! And I'm taking this off to not be associated with Mr. Fogel. Yeah. Don't take it off. You're still in the you're still in the binding phase. It could be fatal to you if you take that off. Mr. Fogel, we need to hear a sob story from you. The nanotechnology is really, 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 uh, really Filipino Chris. in a weird way. I was not expecting. I Mr. Learned. Fogel, is there anything sad that's ever happened in your life? Yeah, Trip we need a Pino. sob story from you, Mr. Fogel. Maybe yeah, something tragic well, happened. Well, I mean, to you. name an 30... event that that sort of made you made you bummed out. <laughs> well. About 30 minutes ago, I was turned Filipino. Okay. And <laughs> oh, God. Well, bad. my life has never been the same. You know, Tagalog, beautiful language. Uh, You're absolutely beautiful people. Great culture. Mm -hmm. Great, great yeah. food, too. Yeah. Hopefully, hopefully, you can learn to embrace it. Ugh. Amazing. You want to trade hard drives and tapes later? Nope, I got some nope. stuff. Thanks for coming Thank in. You, Thank, you. Thank you. Thank right, you. Thank you, Mr. Get, Fogel. While we get your next celebrity oh, endorsement. Yeah. Guys got to get on SSDs. Guys got to get on solid state drives, hard drives. Jeez. Or uh, SNL. While we get the next celebrity in, let's hear some more of your presentation. I've always, you know, you're you're spot on there, Salazar. I've always said that was Jared Fogel's problem. The where where he was storing his stuff. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so you had to flab well, you prototype backup, sweater. Right? This yeah. Right. Right. Yes! <laughs> you had the flab. And all four of us agree on that. Hey, that's yeah. just business, boys. I had the flab prototype sweater, yeah. Right, and I have the flab prototype suit. That's right. The suit my son made me! Oh, this is a great song. And I know it's true because he shoots me with a gun every night. <laughs> it's bulletproof, but it still hurts like a mother. <laughs> Arkimboldi. Arkimboldi has been rearranging my will and coming up with a backstory with the other boys to get rid of me if I don't bring home enough kids' cuisines. So I'm hoping I can convert this sale. The flap suit also makes grapes plumper. What? <laughs> it makes grapes plumper? My grapes used to be so withered, they made raisins look plump. Now when I get near grapes in my flab suit, they're plump as all get out. So sorry, so you walk near a grape I like this. and they start getting plump in front of your eyes? There's some, oh. Does it radiate a field of some kind that maybe plumpens things? It's like you're in the zone in stock. Does it work on anything other than a grape? I've only walked by grapes so far, but I think the plumpening field, and thank you, Mr. Salazar Silly, for that term. I think the plumpening field could apply to other things. This could potentially be world changing. But okay, I've here's only my walked question. by grapes. I, 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 need to, I need to cut through the bullshit for a second, okay? Mm hmm. If I walk by this thank you very much. shit, is my nuts going to get big? Are they going to like swell and be huge and taut like a full water balloon? I wish I had an answer for you. Unfortunately, I do not have Well, you nuts. would know. Oh. No, Ark and Boldy kind of tried a castration type thing on me. Uh, the rest of the kids held me down while I chopped my nuts off. Anyways, I, they right, well, feed then, me. Can I, sorry, I no, I also have a question about the plumping field. Do you mm -hmm. have a parody song for it yet? Ooh, you guys want to workshop something? We got what? California Raisins? I, I, I think uh, I got something. Up the jam. Pump up the jam. Well, 
Okay, can I? Well, I've kind of got one. Kind of, I kind of loaded it up already. Do you mind if I just jump in here with it? You see what yeah, you yeah, think? Yeah, go for it. I I'd one. be honored. This I is my one. second All right, celeb. Then we can vote. We can vote if that's if that's better or worse than Plump Up the Jam. We can vote. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And I have one too. But you gotta do some lines from Plump Up the Jam because I'm about to do some lines from mine, and that won't. I be won't fair. be doing lines from mine. But go ahead, whenever you're ready, Luke Hollywood. Plump Up the Jam, make <laughs> it big, make it round and juicy, make that's it bullshit. taste really nice. I can keep going. I could go for an hour on this shit. What All is right, yours? My, my, my grape field makes all my grapes real plumper. Damn right, they're plumper than yours. Damn right, they're plumper than yours. I can teach you, but I'd have to charge. My flap suit makes those grapes real plump. Damn right, they're plumper than yours. Yeah, right, they're plumper than yours. I can teach you, but I'd have to charge you for a flap suit. Only eighty nine ninety nine. dollars however much this man wants to sell it for. We got demonetized again. Great, and mine is going to be... All the other kids with the plumped up grapes. <laughs> That's, uh, better run, better run. Run from my flab suit. They took back our people. All right. yeah. That's easy. So let's go ahead and get a poll up of which of these three. Yeah. Why does every time I talk in chat, the command says that, look, we're all very funny, but some jokes don't translate. <laughs> if you show up and start being like, what the fuck? Is that We, it, we rigged targeted? it so every time the, that someone in the chat hears your voice, they could, it, it gets automatically triggered to say that. Okay. My grapes are plump, plump. <laughs> da, 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 plump. Da, 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 what is this a parody of? Junk. No, I, I, oh, I thought you were doing an original. I thought you were doing an original. <laughs> 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 I was not, Mr. Silly. Now let's get that poll up there. Oh, you want to pull? You want to pull? Yeah, we're, wait, we're waiting. Yeah, I'd like a poll. I want to yeah, know what the jingle's yeah. going to be for Flab. Why do you think we've been doing this all the time? For the poll, dude. We're waiting for the poll. Right, what are the options? Come on. <laughs> plump up the jam. Plump up the jam. Plump up, up, plumped up, up grapes. My, my plumped up grapes and then my shield brings on my grape field. My grape field the, plumps all the grapes in my grapes bowl. Me, oh. And then plump. My plump field... My no, my flap suit makes all, all my grapes, grapes real plump. Damn right, they're plumper than yours. Damn right, they're plumper than yours. I can teach you, but it'll cost $89.99 or however much this man wants to charge for it. <laughs> oh, tragic, we okay, didn't we even got, get we Jackson. <laughs> We got good. Who the hell's that? <laughs> Sorry. I'm Woody Ash Sheldon. Sorry, Woody Ash Sheldon. <laughs> All the other plumps with the plumped, plumped up, up kicks. Up I'm, gonna, I'm gonna vote. I like I, that one. Plumped I'm gonna up vote kicks. For, I'm gonna vote for all the other plumps, my, personally. It's just got such a sad message, you know? And yeah. I think it really you it know, speaks to the people. On an emotional level. Yeah. That's what it's all yeah. about. My plumps. My plumps, my plumps, my plumps. We already picked three. We already picked three. Oh, yeah, no, these three are better. My plumps, my plumps, my plumps. Plump it out. All the boys get next to me when I got my flab suit. Lovely, lovely, plumpy grapes. All right, let's continue the presentation. Let's jump back in whenever you're ready. No timer for this guy? No. It's okay, I factored this in. I knew there'd be about a 10 minute riff sesh once we got to the grapes. Okay, good. That's because I went to CSU Alcatraz. <laughs> now my son, my son Arkinboldy became different when he read Freakonomics. I don't get grapes anymore, I get dog food. And I'll tell you what, <laughs> I'm a single dad because my wife left because Arkinboldy was on some we need to talk about Kevin type shit for real. What is I'm that not mean? safe. Oh, right. Means he movie. shot his mom. Mm -hmm. Er, sorry. I don't know yet. John C. Riley. Yeah. John C. Riley, you're hearing it more and more. But a lot of people hey, are saying that these days. Am I selling you know, Flab or my son Arkinboldy? <laughs> I couldn't sell him if I tried. He legally owns a guardianship over me now. Yeah, he got his JD on the weekend, <laughs> one weekend, and he finagled some legal shit. Now he's in charge, garnishing my wages, stealing my garnishes. Not even letting me have a single grape. Why are you only around grapes? I live near a vineyard. No, Arkinboldy fucked up my presentation. Arkinboldy, this wasn't oh, supposed to be in oh. here. Arkinboldy, no. You been hitting the gym, man? 
No. You look good. We've been hitting the gym. Go back. Go back a second. I you don't want to go back. This you, is so embarrassing. Gym, look at that tricep. It's, it's, I, can you know, I, like, I can, can I see tell the fold you? It's of not embarrassing. <laughs> it's not embarrassing. We can see your cut, and it's folded in half, and it's still big. Yeah. Thanks, not, guys. Not, not, not the cock, but like the you like the start of the I don't know what you call it. The V. I mean, are they cum gutters on a guy too? Sure. I can see your cum gutters, dude. You're looking good. That's the number one way I've gotten investment so far in my career. The answer, oh heck yes. The ask, half a million for 12.5% equity or freedom from Mark and Boldy or dinner with Jay-Z, no kids cuisine. You guys choose, I would be so humbled to get any of those three from you. It has been an honor talking to the three of you. Thank you all. Good show, mate. Good show. Sorry, it's mm. a bit of my dad coming out. <laughs> Paul Hollywood. Do you want to shake his hand right As now? As we age, we become our parents. Do you want to shake his hand right now, Luke? I'd love to. If I could get out of these dang chains! I'm stuck to this chair, goddammit! I can't move my feet nor my hands. And that's just a, a safety precaution detail? we had to take. But I can get I can get a handshake flown in. Wait, before you make I've... your decision, I have another celebrity. Oh, we do? No. Okay. No, I don't. <laughs> Thank you. That's a handshake from Paul from Luke the Hollywood. Hand. Luke Hollywood from Luke Hollywood. That's All for right. you, baby. Let's get the bidding started. Now, can you just explain to me what it is your product is? <laughs> sure. <laughs> Flab. <laughs> Let me go back to some copyrighted music, which might make things a little more what? clear for you. Played what by a band. What is Ashton? <laughs> What's Ashton? Like a shirt? That's I didn't my get last to ask name. That before. My name huh? is Woody Ashton. <laughs> Ashton? Yes, sir. My glad I know that's right. Your name is Woody Ashton. Ashton. <laughs> Woody Ashton. <laughs> That's right. I'm doing some woody ass shitting on the fucking can. <laughs> the can yeah. that sends emails? <laughs> That's right. I'm sending some woody ass shit to my GF once I take a full dump on my milk <laughs> toilet. Complete dump. Complete woody ass shit. That's right. I know that's right. All right. Well, I'm going to be honest. I'm done. I came inside this gun. But as for your product, I'm interested in it. I think there's a world where this thing plumps up more than just grapes. And if it does, we may have technology that could actually end world hunger and completely redefine these systems of government we have in front of us. So or I'm willing to get you that dinner with Jay-Z if you'll let me have 20% of the company. Yes. 100% yes. You can have more than 20 if you want. Okay, but there's a condition. No! I already said yes! <laughs> okay, well, before you, you don't have to log this in. And please hear from the other sharks. Please. Don't play the music. I'd like to. Family is very important to me. I haven't seen mine in about three years, and it's because I work too hard. But if I was able to, I would want to see them all the time. I'm shipping Your psychotic the sons hey, have to all attend the dinner. What are you saying? Plump, what? Sorry. Plump, plumping up it's the an grape earwig. skin. Oh, okay. With Whoa. my grape. Your, your four psychotic sons have to attend the dinner with Jay-Z. Wow. Because it's important to me that they stick close to you. I tell you what, hearing them singing that song just ever so faintly, that is kind of the voices that are already in my head every day. It's kind of nice to know that other people are feeling that. Just a faint little dropkick Murphy. Sorry, just real quick, Splinker mm. Bell is saying only one is psychotic in my opinion. I just want to remind you that the four of them will go to a Lids and convince a stranger to run out of the Lids with Lids products without paying for them. And then the four of them will beat the shit out of that guy in front of their father to establish dominance over their father. That's just kid stuff, says Splinker Bell. Great. I'd like to hear from the other sharks. Having all four kids there does worry me, but if it's my best offer, I just might take it. Mr. Silly, Mr. Hollywood? Yeah, can I, how's this? 
Um, I'm a sailor's grape and I plumped up big. I'm a sailor's <laughs> grape and I plumped up big. Climbing up I'm the mountain so I plumped my grape. I'm a sailor's grape. I'm up big. I'm grape. Yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm grape up to plumped out. Yeah. I'm plumped up to plumped out. And I found my grape. <laughs> I found my giant. Okay. So that was my. I'm out, obviously. <laughs> Made me lightheaded. It wasn't All obvious right. at the time, but it is in retrospect. Thank you for your time. What about what about I just I just copped a flab, thirteen hours till it melds, <laughs> as we plump <laughs> like a grape. <laughs> Well, that's Drake. Sing it, sing it. Right. I just copped a flab, 13 hours till it melts. That's not singing, he mentioned it, that's sing the melts on the skin. I just yeah. copped a flab, 13 hours till it melts, because it is the melt on the skin. I just copped a flab, 13 hours till it melts. 13 hours till it melts. Do you know the song I'm parodying, Mr. Hollywood? No! It's the Drake song. Asking. Sing it! Because I know when that grape field plump. No, not that one. <laughs> it can only be one lump. <laughs> Not that one, the other one. I know when that flat make great. It can't only be one thing. Ever since I left this, can, all right. Let me Ever get in. No, listen, 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 I'm back in. I'm, I'm back in. Okay, let me explain something. I, I have, I'm currently in a, in a uh, contract with Guantanamo Bay, and we're trying to make the, um, the torturing sillier down at Guantanamo <laughs> Bay, so we have a lot of water slides. Finally. Like we, I, we just built this two water slides that smash two of the prisoners together at the end, uh, which is pretty funny. Uh, and and now I feel happy about that out. whole situation. Like mid-air yeah. or straight slide yeah. to slide, or do they like fly up? It's like, it's mouth to mouth. So there's like <clears> almost <throat> no opening. Thank you very much. And they sort of clank going... together and then fall into- <laughs> And just, you know. Yeah, they just smash like foot to foot, like nut to nut sometimes. And maybe it's, if you, you got should, a big so boy, funny. a big boy and a smaller boy, maybe the big boy make the smaller boy go down the other slide because of physics or whatever. That's awesome, man. There's not a lot, there's not a lot of boys. <laughs> they're time. men. I, I mean, they're maybe men. I don't know. I guess and that's I don't, why they're there. I guess I don't look in. Because they're men. I guess I don't look into and it they that did closely. I'm bad. just trying to make it. All silly. right, let's go. So ahead here's and my move question: on. Can we All can right. we tweak your can we tweak your shirt to be a torture shirt that we can make them wear and it says something funny like "I love the party" before they go down the water slide? One hundred percent. We can do that, and honestly, I'd be honored to help serve our country in I will, that way. I will. I will offer you six hundred thousand dollars for twenty percent of your company. Ooh. I want to say yes, but I want to hear from Mr. Hollywood. All right, so it's down to me, eh? Well, Your Honor, I'd like to turn the clock back a few minutes, 10 or so. Your Honor, could you please pull up the slide that has the kid cuisine on it? Thank you for knowing that I'm a judge. I didn't <laughs> mention it. <laughs> the economy of your way. situation now, seems much greater now. Now, <clears throat> The defendant, does he remember what he called these about 10 minutes ago, live on air for all to see? And thank you again for knowing that I am also on trial as well as the judge. Again, you're, that's why you're so good at business is you're picking up on these small things. What did you call them? Don't, don't, don't mess, don't mess around. What'd you call them? Uh, uh, I, 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 I thought I called them kid cuisine. Nope. You called them kids' cuisines, which isn't the right word at all. I rest my case. What if it's like living it, living it up in a flab-powered sweater, such a plump grape, like Hotel California? Like such a plump grape. Such a plump grape, such a plump grape. Living it up in a flab type sweater. Now this, this is the kind of shit that only you and I can really get together on. I don't I, I don't hear silly over here coming up with, with this kind of shit. So why don't you why don't you I came you up and with I... like three different <laughs> I could come up with one right now. Loving an then elevator. Do then do it. Aerosmith, okay? Grape in a grape in a plumping grape field. Grape in a plumping <laughs> grape in a grape field getting big. It's easy for me. This is the partner you want. 
Grapes and pop in the sky with flab suit. <laughs> Grapes pop in the sky with flab suit. Sky, picture yourself in a grape city where the grapes are real plump and Archibald's dead. See, I used your shit. That's so crazy to flex on him like that, Mr. Hollywood, while already being out. <laughs> Giving him the dream partnership while already saying you're not interested. <sighs> I'm out. All right, so you have, a, you have a ranking, three, two, one, of like, it goes, it goes, at the top, it's Mr. Hollywood, he's out. Second I'm best out. is me. I'm in. I, made I you think an offer. I'm the second best. And then, and then you sort, and then you have like a dump. You have like a dumpster guy from the dirt, and he also wants to be in. So make your call. I'd like to hear one more song, <laughs> Chad. <laughs> what song will we hear before I make my choice? That's gonna take too long. I'm going with Mr. Silly. Thank you, Salazar <laughs> Silly. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Africa, Africa, okay, okay. <laughs> I saw the grapes pump in Africa. <laughs> yeah. Something right. I never yeah. thought that I would thought do. I, would too. I saw the grapes pump in my flab suit. And it meant so much more when they were flabbing with you, Archimboldi. Yep, nailed it. <laughs> nailed it, and I'm out of here. All right, get the hell out of here. The hell out Six hundred thousand dollars. You, you, you know what? I was gonna right. do a Mrs. Robinson parody where it was Mrs. Plump Grape, and you missed the golden opportunity to have to have business done with a guy like that. It, so you enjoy Mrs. yourself. Mrs. Plumping Grape. I could do the same shit. You don't. You got nothing. <laughs> yeah, but yeah, I did it. Not, I did it. Shit. though. You could have no, done it, but I did it. You did it. You just said you did it. But I do it. I actually deliver. All of us have done more than you. Literally, all of us have done more than you. The sharks and the person presenting have each done at least three parody songs. No, I've absolutely done par. You literally. Literally, done par. You literally explained a Drake song. You wouldn't even sing it even when I, I pressed you. I tried to you. sing it and you got you it wrong. You it. interrupted me with a different song and you got it wrong. Plumping up the grapes. Hey. Plumping up. up the grapes. Look what you've done. <laughs> Flab suit on. <laughs> you are Archimboldi, my Bobby. son. Thank you, chat. That was Neil and the Hay. All right, thank you so much for coming. <laughs> All right, well, we've heard two pitches today. Hey, isn't he the guy who came in a gun? Okay, I'm gone. <laughs> <laughs> we have so many submissions. Uh-oh. Actually, no, we don't. We only have four. Let's go ahead and see our four product submissions, and then we are going to go to our B game and uh, see some other submissions. If you can. Not talking about the movie. No, not talking about the movie. B movie game, right? And they're booing. <laughs> they didn't parody any Weezer songs. I feel... Ooh, -ee -ooh, I feel like this one looks pathetic. Yeah, this one, this one seems like a full-time job this one consisting seems of streaming videos found online and yelling about them. Mm. This one seems difficult to explain to your relatives. Is would be my yeah. first critique. You it's like when your grandma says, "What do you do?" Saying his job is harder than a person who works a regular job. Yup. Yeah. Yeah. What if like basketball but heavy? <laughs> like a medicine ball. Like a medicine ball or like a bowling ball. There's all sorts of balls that are exist. Flashlight that shoots live rounds. Oh, okay. Now we we're have, talking. We Inverse have a idea. Product. We already have the fuck gun. Whoa, so whoa, I, whoa. I have to be out for this one. A fork isn't the same as a spoon, my man. These are inverse tools. Now ex speak a on fork? that. Sorry, fork is opposite of spoon. Yeah. Fork, fork is opposite, of, opposite spoon. of a spoon. Once for once for picking up. Once nah. for slurping down. Put, put that back up. I changed it. Once All right, we've already changed it. So slurping down. We're just gonna pretend it never happened. One. Uber for toilets. <laughs> River problem. Come on. That'd I know be cool. that's right. I know that's right. All right, let's go ahead and go to our B game now. We're gonna be hearing from some people who have already had their products accepted and funded on this show, and we're gonna check in on how their businesses are going. And then we'll come back for one final Shark's Tank pitch. If you haven't yet, make sure you've joined the Discord and also follow the show. Follow the show on all of our socials and all that shit. Subscribe to the YouTube. Let's boost those numbers, baby. Let's juice this shit. Let's juice this. Let's juice this shit right now. And vote now. in November. Make sure to and vote in sure November. And make sure to stay in line Please. right now. Don't get Please. out of line yeah. until If you're November. in line, stay in line. Stay in line if, until November If you're November in California. Second. Vote no on the flavored cigs ban, the flavored vapes ban. I need those back. I need my elf bar yesterday. All right, let's go ahead and get the hell out of here.
Domo arigato and konnichiwa. It's me, Skinny Steven Seagal. Ever since I stopped being a movie star, well, I've decided to put my brain towards ideas. And I have had so many. And last time I was here on Shark's Tank, they thought, yup, here's the checkbook. Give me a blank check, do whatever I want. And basically, I'm rich and successful and you're basic. So here is a little glimpse at what I've had major success in with my last Shark Tank pitch. Obviously, it's the hot dog toaster. Me being uh, skinny Steven Seagal, I was trying to figure out a way to do my vegan tofu dogs, but you know, with, with ease and speed. So what I did was cut open a toaster with a jigsaw and then make little holes that fit for the hot dog and then make slightly bigger holes that fit for the bun. And we produced 30 million of these. And there's there's one of these in every single house in Peru. So we're all very proud of the the um, the, the performance uh, results of Hot Dog Toaster. But that's not all. Since the success of Hot Dog Toaster in Peru, we decided to actually get back in there and create a new product that's changing people's lives, which is this. Oh, hold up. Yeah, we're doing like three images for this one. Yeah, yeah, I was just fixing the audio, it all got fucked up. In the meantime, I'll show you how to kill a man. Oh. And then he's gonna come like right at you and he's gonna put his head right on your, on your shoulder and you just kinda do that and then he's dead. Finally, Obama with cheese, Obama pockets. I think this speaks for itself personally, but you know, it, it feels good to be a patriot uh, while eating a very portable and tasty product. But that's not all. These were in the microwaves of every household in Peru. And ever since then, we've become millionaires. And we thought, what else to do with these funds but to go at it one more time. We met with those freaks in Silicon Valley and tapped their brains for one more ingenious invention. And well, with our millions we made from Obama pockets, we brought up this product. <laughs> salt and vinegar chips. Boring salt and vagina chips. <laughs> much. What can I say? I'm a genius. And ever since I've been divorced, I've missed my wife and her vagina. So uh, I just kind of had to... <laughs> he misses his wife's vagina. That's so sad. So I made a chip that reminded me of my lost love. So what? I'm grieving. Big whoop. Anyway, I'm a billionaire now. So see you out there at the polls. Hey, what's up? I'm Jimmy Goldstein, the guy you see sitting courtside at NBA games all the time for no real reason. I wear weird clothes and I look sticky. I made a lot of money, a lot of money with some of these products. Go ahead and show one. One sec. All right. You know, I can't even play this thing. <laughs> How did I not know about this? I know what you mean. I've been there too. Now you see, this is a product right here. I invented this, putting a pickle, pickle into some sort of chocolate type substance. People weren't doing that with pickles before. I had a lot of pickle stock, kind of had a pickle republic, like a banana republic, but worse. Had taken over a, a cucumber rich country and was using it to produce pickles, much like the Dole Corporation. Beep bop bop ba doop boop 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 boop. That was my invention. I've done more though, such as Shark Stank. That was my idea. No, 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 hang on. <laughs> I came up with this in parallel with the boys at ENS. But I let them have it. I've got enough. I'm sitting courtside every night slapping Donovan Mitchell's ass and hoping to touch Kyle Lowry's ass. And also... You're sitting courtside at a Cleveland Cavaliers game? <laughs> that's right. And they're playing against whoever Kyle Lowry's playing for now that he got bought out. do 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 NBA Roundup. Mmm, I love my products. Mmm. <laughs> How... Since... Time in memoriam, since, you know, the beginning of man, babies have been raised by other humans. But what if 
We put a baby in the void and just kind of saw what happened. Sure, there have been experiments where babies were left alone, but they were under scientific study. What my product does is send those babies into this white space with no time, no walls, nothing. And pretty self-explanatory how we make money off of that. But we've been sending a lot of babies out. So far, none have returned. The next one is maybe my favorite invention from me, Jimmy Goldstein. Boop, boop, bop, doop, boop, da, boop. I wish I could play in a band. <laughs> That's right. I run a donut shop in Portland, and we're all quirky. And Portland's a little different than it used to be, but we still like our dick donuts. And Medford, Oregon's cool too, but it'll never be Portland. And every time you come in, every cashier talks to you with this sing songy voice and lets you know that things used to be different than they are now in Portland. But we still have the dick donuts. Nuts. No Lillard, no <laughs> CJ McCollum, but we still got Dick Donuts. And donuts have high margins because they're such a pricey item. I gotta go. Tip offs in three minutes. <laughs> go Clippers. Clipper. <laughs> Courtside at Cavs game. Who does he like? Hey y'all, my name is Thaddeus Fortnite. Uh, I was in a lot of trouble. I'm gonna be real with you. When I visited the Sharks, I was at the lows of the lows. I was in a tremendous amount of legal trouble on account of my last name, which I changed and then expected to be paid royalties from the video game Fortnite. <laughs> Apparently that's not how it works at all, and I found myself swimming in legal fees. I insisted that we continue to pursue these accusations that I levied against them, much to the detriment of my family life and my bank account. Luckily, I came up with a fantastic invention that I was able to pitch to the Sharks. So Bienvenue, power bottoms. That's right. No one before me had come up with the idea of a silly, irreverent uh, doormat. Well, that was the day that I came in and I thought, who's doing, uh, who's doing novelty floor mats for power bottoms? Ain't none, buddy. Well, that's where I stepped in. I said, what if we came up with a fun little welcome mat for power bottoms? Sure, people who are normal bottoms probably have their floor mats, but what about the ones who thrust from below? They need to welcome home. And that's when it clicked. Yeah, we sold about eight mil of those to power bottoms all across the globe, but it wasn't until I had my breakthrough after that product that things really took off for me. You're probably most familiar with me from my next product. This product is called the government. Now, a lot of people say the government, that's what taxes is paying for. How does somebody have ownership of that? Well, look again, your boy right here, Thaddeus Fortnite is actually the owner of the, of the government. You might have noticed things are really bad now. That's on account of how I'm running the business, and it's intentional, because while it does not do what it is meant to do, it does generate a shitload of revenue for the shareholders. And that's what it's all about. But folks, I had a passion project. Yeah, we did uh, novelty power mats, or novelty, novelty welcome mats for power bottoms, and yeah, I bought the government and ran it into the ground. But... All along, I had a passion project. I had something that really spoke to me on a personal level that I thought, Thaddeus, if you ever make it to the big time, you gotta bring this to the public. You gotta stake your claim on the zeitgeist and let the people remember you for eons to come. And that's just what I did with this next product. <laughs> yep. What if the Beatles do human centipede? Remember this human centipede? It was when the mouth go on the butthole of the guy in front but then imagine this, what if Ringo, John, the other guys, they were all together in a one human centipede. And then I thought, what can I put this on? Well, what else but a mug? Yep, drinking your morning coffee, waked up early after a night out on the town. What better way to refresh your body than sipping a cup of joe out of beetle mug that have them all do ass to mouth together to remind you to, of what you'd be thankful for. Every now, every morning now, let me take that again. Action. Every now time.
Now, what about Grape Juice World and its Plumpo mode? What do we think Pretty about good. that? I'm, I'm going to need you to sing the song, though, if I'm going to understand the <laughs> reference. All right, well, we're back. So, so far, we've heard two incredible presentations. Um, and we got this. The Monster Brand Gaming Catheter with Caffeinated Lube. Oh, oh. oh. Really unpleasant. Really unpleasant to think about. Let's get that off the screen. We've heard I'd just like to hear you sing anything. Just Camp Town For Races. <laughs> Plump Town Grapeses. Something we all know. Plump Town Grapeses. <laughs> Plump Town Grapeses. Flap sweater, y'all, doo-dah. Flap sweater, y'all. <laughs> well, well, so the town far, grapes says flap sweater, y'all, all the doo-dah grapes. <laughs> well, so far we've heard two incredible pitches, and both went with Mr. Silly. One, though, going halfsies with Mr. Hollywood as well. Let's see what this last presenter of the evening has in store. And if you haven't I'm yet, I'm out of money, show, so, so whatever, whatever he says, <laughs> I'm out. I already did. I played okay. a lot. So. so you're already out. Good. Well, I don't. I, I did enough. You know what? Am You've I done do enough. You, like you participated enough. Six hundred thousand dollars. Yeah, I feel like six hundred thousand and four dollars and fifty cents. Are you gonna leave? That, yeah. I'll hang out. Yeah, just <laughs> okay. just hang out. Just stay in the room. I mean, okay. I still have money, but now I'm it's to me. It's not work anymore. Like my like work play. I didn't. Yeah. Not a yeah. single day I'm here just... is work for me. Not a single day Every here day is work is. for me. It's dark to all that you do. Let's meet the guy. It's work dark day do. <laughs> <laughs> but glad that. And let's go ahead and meet this first guy while we already get, before we even meet them, we have a guest, celebrity guest director or whatever. Fuck, whatever. <laughs> Sponsor. Should I go? Yeah, go for it. Go for it. No, I mean leave. No, you... no, no, no. Start your presentation. Okay. Uh, all right, uh, I got I got to say just because I was listening in the wings, but um, uh, plump up a gripe, put up a parking lot. <laughs> flab flab flab, ooh flab flab flab. Ooh. Okay, I'm ready to go. Let's pull up my PowerPoint, please. And uh, yeah, let's get this started. In the in the words of my personal hero, let's get it started. Apple let's plump. Let's let's get it plumped up. Sing it! <laughs> just do it just Let's do it. get it plumped up in here. Yeah. Let's, Let's get, get it, it grapes and grapes. Ha. So, ha! The reason you haven't gotten a deal yet, man, is because you see how Luke has the music in him and he just lets it out. He has joy in him. He has a joyful energy that he brings to business. And you don't have that, and that's why you Luke haven't gotten a deal Luke got half of the night. fucking $9 thing, and we're, we're crediting Luke like some fucking virtuoso right now, because he got Ooh. half of the $9 Pokemon Ooh, thing. Oh, wait a minute, Mr. Grape because Plump. <laughs> la, 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 or the grapes are all plump, and the flab and now. Wait a minute, Mr. Grapes now. How you plump a grape? How you plump a grape? Like how you like me now? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Okay, let's do this. Mr. Brightside, but ah! I'm gonna plump some grapes. I got flat Going shirt out. on my pot. Okay, I'm sorry. Mr. Plump That's grape, good. but it's Mr. Brightside. Sing it! Again. Just fucking we... sing it! Don't just fucking sing it! Say it. You sing have so it. many ideas! Jesus Christ! You're on the show! It's your flat show! Man. Sweater, what? turning grapes all plumped up. Da 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 plump a grape choking. I don't you see I'm I'm trying. This no, guy he's, no, you're doing awesome. You're thank you. You're in the space with us, and I appreciate that. I appreciate that. Cause Danish guy, you get that it's not about how well you do, it's about the attempt, right? I mean, you understand that? You're the big Dutch, right? I'm hearing sound effects, but I don't know. <laughs> oh, that's from your presentation. <laughs> that, that was a sound Yeah, alert. The knife keeps showing up. You thought I was scared. I planned this. I knew this was going to happen. I, I I programmed it in Java, and we're going to go and get started right now, okay? Because I'm here to help you help your kids help themselves unlock their fittest potential and uh, stop being so chubby. All right, I'm Dr. Chance Bliss, and who amongst you is- I'm so sorry. I'm what? so sorry to be doing this. On, mate? Plump up a grape. You're the flab sweater, man. <laughs> I, I mean, I mean, Come on, man. 
Say it. Doesn't even lyrically. Flab sweater is not the same. Piano is a different lyrically. It's the it's same amount of syllables, so. basically. It's basically Club there. the grape, flab sweater. Nope, doesn't work. Flab doesn't sweater work. man. Maybe if we heard you sing it, we would Plump understand. Up the grape, flab sweater man. What's not clear about this? Plump I, I can't grape, hear it. You're the flab sweater it. man. I just can't hear it. All right, I would whatever need you're ready, example. Mr. Bliss. Grape Expectations. I don't know. It's a book. It's not even a song. That's good. Grapes of Wrath, it's already there. So true. You probably know me from my industry work. Uh. I was the uh, set teacher on the slop, the <laughs> US and Australian versions, as well as the little scene and known Filipino version, which I believe <laughs> is called Mahokita pero dapat sampalinkita, which roughly translates to I love you, but I must slap you. It's been going on for 900 plus episodes. But enough about me. I'm here to pitch the Chance Bliss Psycho Gymnasium. Young. Psycho Gymnasium. Young. Which is kind of like the opposite of a Planet Fitness, but for people who like to go to trampoline parks. Uh, and it's a lot like Not Scary Farm. Uh, but before we get into the business side of it, I want to kind of get into the philosophical side of my belief system and uh, my regimen of sorts, okay? So, uh... I have one question for you, and it's, are you tired of your child being a little chunker? Is that a Chris Griffin flash drive? I really like the flash drive. Yeah, that's, that's cool. It's the, it's the fat kid See, from I would the rank, family guy. I would rank flash storage somewhere between a hard drive and solid state as far as like storing someone. If Jared Fogel is maybe going to come on later, maybe you could bring that image back up. Jared Fogel was here? <laughs> I hope not. Uh-oh. Well, I mean, we claimed him, unfortunately, as a people, uh, but, you know, we'll try and get yeah, past Yeah, he's yours. <clears throat> Diamonds on the soles of her shoes, but it's plump grapes on this on this sweater of her plump sweater. Can you sweater. just shut up if you're not going to sing? Just shut suit. the fuck up. Knock it off. We can do this all day. Flab suit. I'm over your shoes. It's I'm the totally singing, over dude. Shoes, I'm it's totally the singing over we're you. looking for. She's got you plump grapes on the lapels of her flap suit. I'm here to help you, you help your kid room? help like you help themselves to unlock their fitness self by using their least utilized exercise muscle. What is the least utilized exercise muscle in the human body? The penis. Grapes. I swear to God, I, I was gonna tell you, first thing, it's not penis. <laughs> wow. <laughs> it's yeah, not right. penis. How? Why is there a gunshot? <laughs> it's your brain. It's always been your brain, mate. Mind over matter. It's a real thing, okay? And that's the 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 ethos, the core of my belief system. Me, Dr. Chance Bliss. I'm a child psychologist and a physical trainer, a physical trainer. Um, and what I do in my life, well, I'll just give you an example. All right, I got I got a bit of a story. Yeah, it's brain. One day, I'm going grocery shopping, and this bloke runs up to me. This is kind of a sob story, okay? Because I almost died. All right, I almost died. I was grocery shopping, and this mate comes up to me with a gun, and he's all like, "Give me all your money! All these medical systems in the United States have failed me. Give me your money!" And thank you. I know. Me being a rational person, I'm like, "I don't know what do you think about that, mate." So I tell him, "No thanks," and he plugs me in the stomach with a 22 slug, and I'm bleeding internally. And I thought I was gonna die. Small, I was laying there in the middle of uh, John's. What's that? 22 small bolt. It's not that. Uh fine henceforth well, i'm still eye. alive all right if it was a 357 or a government 30 70 or whatever i'd be dead but i was lucky all right it was a pea shooter but i was laying there in the middle of the johns bleeding next to all the popsicles and i thought this might be it mate but no my brain thought that it can take care of this meanwhile my body's what shutting down mean? My, it's mind over matter. No, 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 a triggered sponsor. You know, oh, I wasn't yeah. sure about that. Yeah, yeah, I forgot about that. That's like this, but they're supposed to submit it? Yeah, so it kind of doesn't, oh, it kind of okay. doesn't work anymore. Dark web for shoot if you want Hey, let's hear it for the, uh, tonight's sponsor. Let's say it's, it's a, a silent it's alarm. It's a silent alarm clock, I suppose. I yeah, mean, let's hear it for silent alarm clock. What's go going on there? Is, is it Donkey Kong? Yeah. Yeah, let's mate. Let's go on. What's going on? Who? All right. Okay, so, yeah. 
Right, that was a nine millimeter when I wrote this earlier. Great, mind over matter. So my brain went into overdrive, all right? And it basically piloted my body like I was an Ava, okay? And my brain, all everything inside there just kind of started doing these like little guitar solos inside there with all my neurons and muscles and everything. And it got me to get up, fill my car with my groceries, drive home, drop off the groceries in the pantry and the garage fridge, go to pick up my kids from school so we can see Dougal in theaters. And that was an amazing day for me and my kids because though I had a little bullet in my gut, mind over matter, I still got to live my life to the fullest. Thank you. Thank you so much for that. Mind over matter. Now what gets your brain going? All right, that's what I'm wondering. Is it a little love? And there is a penis. Is it love? You know, get your, get, get your, your, your Johnson going. Penis and ball. Can you show that? Is it laughter? A little impractical joke half, just to so fill your medical. tummy with some blood. What's that? You can show that. You can show a cut in half penis. It's just, just like it's just anatomy. That's just that's just the bloody boy, yeah. mate. We all it's got educational, that. Educational. So that's fine. Everyone's yeah. got this. Everyone's got that. Mine's not. Mine's in one piece. Mine's not cut in half. Oh, we missed the the. You want to do that one again? That side. Awesome. Danger! Danger gets your body moving like none other. Alright? I'm gonna have to me have you memorize this mantra, okay? This is what I tell all my students and all my clients, okay? So everyone pay attention. Did everyone catch that? What? No, Humanity I that. at the mat Humanity at the matter of implication. Humanity truly flinches at Humanity. the implication of utter annihilation. Humanity it's a thing that you tell truly your kids. It's Humanity. A thing that, yeah, go ahead. You got it. Just that image is Lily. making me think of Lily. Lily. That album. Twenty first century. Plumped up grapes. Said the grape <laughs> to the flat. That's flap. fucking yeah. good. Said the great man to the flab man, That's where have you been? Good. Look, Shut mate. up. Should I? <laughs> I'm fine with money. Should we just talk shop on these great puns? I'm having fun. I'm having a blast with these. It My seems business. today that oh, all your grapes are flabbed up on t-shirts and plumped on TV. It seems but today that those... all your grapes <laughs> are plumped on TV. Like a verb? Hold on. Let him cook. Yes. <laughs> yeah, go ahead, Mr. Hollywood. Big fan of your dad, by the way. Sclabes to sclay. I, You know, I looked that up. He's dating a 23-year-old. Well, that's crazy. <laughs> right. <laughs> <laughs> that phrase that I have, uh, humanity truly flinches at the implication of other annihilation. It's a thing I say to all of my humanity kid uh, students. And you all know what fat heads are, right? Yeah, it's, You're all it's, familiar? It's, it's my fellow shark right yeah, over right here. Right hey. <laughs> oh, look at him. Look at him. Uh, <laughs> you, got, oh, you got his ass. Oh, you got his ass. Oh, you got his ass. Oh, Come on now. Oh, Come on and now, your dad's dog. good looks, Come did you? On. Come on now. Come on, Mr. Hollywood. Anyway, I made one of myself saying that phrase that you can put on the ceiling of your kid's bedroom. <laughs> Holy shit. Thank you very much. It's a, it yeah, looks no. a little stretched. No, that's just perspective. <laughs> Sorry, can I just check in on Mr. Hollywood? <laughs> he left He left his studio. Mr. Hollywood left. He's gone. <laughs> There's a small chance he's driving over to kick our asses. There's a very small percentage possibility that a he's going to drive chance. over. Mr. Hollywood left. Okay. Well, Wouldn't yeah, the perspective you... make it look even like even squatter, so it's even <laughs> more stretched than it looks like. No, nah, it's just a weird ceiling. It's my son's ceiling. It's just all fucked up. Anyway, you can buy these from my it's website. It's like a Penn and Teller ceiling. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. <laughs> he's okay, he's back. back. He seems to be back. He's throwing things around. He's acting <laughs> like he burned his hand or something. Like he hurt himself What's outside. He doing? Let's see. What's yeah. going on? What's he doing? You okay, mate? <laughs> he's crawling. Looks, crawling his way looks back like he's up. doing a lot of business in the room. Yeah. He's trying to hide his head. Because he's scared. Because he's scared of his fat head. Do, maybe he's, good, maybe he's you, trying to still... Oh, hold on. Do, Is, you guys, do you guys think you should say something to me before I come back on the show? <laughs> I know. I don't know what's do you happening. Think I, do you think you should say something to me before you come, I come back on the show? I, 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 I think... 
I think is implying that we should apologize. No, I'd like you to continue your presentation. Thank you very much. You can buy. I'd this like fat to head. apologize to to Luke Hollywood for saying that he had a fat head. It was a cheap dig, and I'm sorry. I would also like to apologize to Luke Hollywood. I was just nervous because I was the new guy in the in the friend group, and I just wanted to make sure that I would survive and not be utterly destroyed. So the moment that I saw someone else being vulnerable, I just kind of jumped in on that for the sake of my own survival. You're trying to join the energy. You're trying to join the energy of the and room. I, and I, I actually exactly think right. a disingenuous apology is worse than saying nothing at all. So yeah. I will not be apologizing out of a sign of respect for Luke Hollywood. That's why they call you Obviously the big Dutch Rude worst. Van Axelson. Are, are you sure, Chris? Yes. Who? My name's the big Dutch <laughs> Rude Van Axelson. I don't know what that was about. My name's the big are Dutch you, Rude Van sure? Axelson. Are you sure? Chris, sure. just apologize to him. Right, my name's the big Dutch. Come on. Come Maybe on, can Chris. Him up You're with ruining the fucking show. Hon honestly, <laughs> I think you just got to sing a song, mate. Please continue the presentation. You just need yeah, to sing, sing a song. song. We're eight minutes back. away. We gotta, we gotta string this out. We only got eight minutes. Sang an apology song. Back. Please continue the presentation. You can buy this fat head on my website for all your kids. It's great. It's a great gift for their birthdays. Uh, eight ninety nine in bulk buys only. Now the goal here is to convince your child's mind that they're in grave danger, um, so their little bodies become capable of things that you couldn't even imagine. All right. And uh, it's not like the world is not uh, completely inspirational in terms of how awful things are. Lots of fucked up shit out there. I'm sure that your child right now, unattended, is looking at pictures of crunched up knees that look like vaginas and guns that have been loaded with bullets. I like that you included Brett Kavanaugh here oh, too. Fuck. I like that you included Brett Kavanaugh here to show the sick humanity that can happen to someone when they get persecuted for simply liking beer. I was, I was supposed to... Thank uh, you for putting that in there. I was to supposed show to what real, real. Fuck, sorry. Uh, issue <laughs> persecution looks like. I was supposed to come on Shark's Tank in 2021, or yeah. no, uh, or like no, no, actually 2018, I believe. Wow, so that's that was crazy. That's a vestige of my uh, presentation. Missed the, boat. Missed the boat on that one. Yeah, exactly right. I forgot what happened to that bloke anyway. Hey, hey it's Luke. It's me, Dutch or whatever. <laughs> whatever the. I'm yeah. sorry, and Axelson. I didn't mean to. Talk, I didn't mean to yeah. talk to you like that. I'm not. I wouldn't be sh so shitty to you after you, you know, donated your time to be on the show that I asked you to yeah. be on. I'm hearing yeah. double. I would. I, I would apologize. Four big Dutch rude Van Axelsons. Yeah. That does. Here that comes does the seem sun, right. but it's here comes a plump grape. Here plumps the grapes. You, do do no, do do. No, not you. He has to do it, or I'll keep hiding. <laughs> <laughs> it's a flab. Ba -ba -da -ba -ba -da -ba -da -da -da. Luxury bidets for cats. Well, that's nice. That feels like something that's probably real. I Dang, a big old Dutch man. You're not gonna win me over with that crappy tune. Come on, put your heart others? into it. Do we have any others? Yeah, we got one more. We have one more, and then we're gonna continue this presentation to the best of our abilities. I'm gone. I, I'm, I'm chilling. So I gotta fucking do the whole. Fucking Someone didn't use a command and fucked our whole <laughs> shit. In this city. Here's an example. All right. Um, a, a car lands on top of a truck. You child. should invent a hammer with a camera inside. <laughs> that it. is a bloody brilliant idea. Hammer. 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 That's from a thing. Hammer. Hammer. From a thing? That's, that's from a thing, right? Yeah. Draw. Hammer. 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 If I was Nicholas Wendine Ruffin, I put a bloody hammer. camera on the hammer. 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 It's called a hammer. 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 Plump with the grapeness, down with the sickness. Oh, just do it, please. I'll come back on. I swear I'll work. <laughs> oh, I swear I'll play just on the song, show. Mate. Just one song, mate. Just sing it. You've been in you you it on the show. Here's a hypothetical situation. A car it's lands on top of a deal. child. Mama's like, oh no, what's gonna happen to my my baby boy? All right, and so suddenly her, her synapses are kind of firing off in like a guitar solo, and they're making her just go crazy with adrenaline, blood pumping straight to her brain, her head pink, all right? And that gives her the strength, the sudden strength that she wouldn't have normally on a daily basis to lift the car off the child and save the baby. Pretty sweet, right? Sounds like a nice story. This happens thousands of times a minute across the globe, okay? And that child that was stuck under the car? Well, that was me. <laughs> what the fuck? What's that noise? That was me as a baby. Look at me. I was a little tubbo. All right, after my father left us to go raise his first family, I fell into something called adolescent obesity. And we all know what that stands for. <laughs> 
the gallop and swallow and trial elephants in trouble to obese baby elephants sucking. You get the point, okay? And also, you know, if your kid's not getting up and shedding some LBs, all right, here's a little reminder for them is that at any moment, they can be placed under the, the chassis of a Scion XB from 2006. And that worked on me. Look at me now. I haven't touched, touched a Hydrox in a minute, all right? Look at me. Don't I, don't I look proper fit? Look at this. Yeah! Oh, but Im imagine how good it would taste after all this time that you haven't had it. Imagine oh, how yeah. good it would taste now that you haven't had it Because it would also like have a years. nostalgic element to it, so it would make you just, like, feel better inside, too. You, mate! Or an yeah, enabler! Yeah, probably almost... But you've probably almost forgotten what it tastes like. Like, you wouldn't even know how hard it would taste. Isn't that sad? Don't do this to me. You okay, Mr. Hollywood? <laughs> I just want my song. <laughs> what about, and the taste of your grapes are plump and nice? Your flab sweater makes my grapes plump and nice. And it's You're toxic, not in the fucking speak. writer's room, Some like, pitching ideas the for the show. You're so on plump. the show. I, 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 imagine for a second if Jimmy Fallon got on stage and he was like, instead <laughs> yeah. of doing the monologue, he said, he said stuff like, he okay, said, what if it was if... like, would it be funny if Trump <laughs> was the vaccine <laughs> mandate or whatever? Yeah. <laughs> All right, let's continue the presentation. <laughs> yeah. And just another copyright. We're just doing this again. Yeah. You know not to do this. So I can say whatever because this isn't going to be on YouTube. When, the moon when you pump up the grape. Why? Why? Why are you getting us copyright strikes? Why? I'm just trying to make a point, mate. Okay? You got to tell your kids that's what's going to happen to you if you're not working out. All right. End <laughs> conclusion. <laughs> I was watching the show doing the pl great plump thing, and I know what they're talking about. Yeah, I know exactly what they're talking about. WTF is happening. I'm on either fence. I'm a, I'm a 1.5, personally. If I was logged on to Twitch.com right now, that's what I would type in. But Looks like the eyes have it, huh, there? What? It, in conclusion, kids are, you know, potential killing machines, and you scare them now, whip them into shape with natural self-policing behaviors for future growth. It's a perfect system that breeds perfect human beings like me. And you prepare them for the, the terrors of life and anticipate your kid becoming stronger than you and killing you. It's poetic and right, and you should be proud. Okay? And uh, before we finish off here, I want to give you a little demo about my, uh, my services. Is this a copyrighted video? No. Okay. So, can someone just hit play on the, on the video? On the, on the, there it is. Yeah. Great. So this is for you to do at home while you're jogging in place. Okay. A little simulation, kind of like you're at on the countryside oh, somewhere shit. in Eastern Europe. How tall? Wait. How okay, tall are so you? So everyone get up at home. And just do a little jogging. You're like okay. 10, you're like 10 or you see the bicyclist, and that makes you want to go faster and faster. All right. And then you're starting to speed up. The sun's coming down, and your adrenaline's coming up. And you're just running and sprinting full speed ahead all the way down this beautiful European countryside. And you're running at the fastest ability that you can. Okay? And this is no longer a simulation, all right? They're inside your house. And they're coming for your mother and your little sister. You got no time. You got to go save them right now, mate. All right? You got to crawl out of bed. And you got to get the gun out of your dance closet, all right? And you have to tiptoe your way upstairs because they're in the house. And they will hurt you. You saw the news report. You saw what you did, they did to those nurses. And they're going to fucking kill you. So you grab your little sister, it's already too late for your mother, and you jump out the window, and you're running down the street, but you hear that van, it's coming right behind you, and the, the, the high pins are shot and right in your face, alright, and you're going to run, but you know you're not fast enough, so you gotta keep running, and running, and running, and running, or else, oh, what's gonna happen to your sister, what's gonna happen to you, mama, what's gonna happen to you, everything's gonna fade away, everything's all gonna be taken away from you, alright, even though you're eight years old, mate, it's all gone, and you know this that you had, it's gonna be in dust in the wind, Okay, and, 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 great job everybody, that was a wonderful workout, I saw all the effort you're putting out in there at home, congratulations, you lost .03 LBs, that's pretty impressive right there, and consider that itself a, a free trial of my services. Did I put the sunglasses back on? They were making my eyes all like sweaty. <laughs> I felt like I was crying the whole show. And I feel like I'm crying now. Don't cheer. I have another one. Oh, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. 
plump grapes. Roxanne. Don't let me down. Let me down. Um, you hey, take a where plump, plump swap. Plump swap. And I make, make it the better. Plump. Hold on, hold on, hold what on. What about, what about? I'm on the plump eastern grape Alexa. You guys know about that? No, what is it? Down eastern Alexa, it's uh. No. 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 What about, what about? And now do Wreck of the Edmund Fitzgerald. Tell him what, who's what doing about, it from off screen. It's screen. smoke no, on the water. No, not you. Tell him to do Wreck of Edmund Fitzgerald. But what about, it's smoke on the water, but it's grape on the sweater. Grape. The flab makes it that's right. so good. <laughs> fucking commit for once in your fucking life. Chris, you always say you do characters and you don't, and you, you always say you play yourself and not characters. I want to see you sing. My name's a big Dutch. <laughs> Chris, Nobody's yeah, gonna Chris, put my I have not grapes. met you until tonight, and you are making a sweater. terrible impression. My name's the Big Dutch. Well, I think don't so little you of you, me Chris, because of the grapes. way you are fucking railroading this. My name's not Chris, maybe Wake the Big Dutch. Wake me up, wet flap sweater, pump grapes. Do you have the time to pump <laughs> up some of my grapes? Grapes. Should we do the video That's again? it? <laughs> now we gotta end. Well, I, I need, know it. I need. Okay, well, I, I know I'm plumping grapes. I'm plumping grapes until they go back down to f fab lab. Let's get down to brass tacks. All right. I plump. need one billion dollars. Plump, 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 plump grapes. <laughs> Shell five for that plump grape. That flab <laughs> suit. We got grapes and plums. <laughs> Plumped up in the grape. <laughs>you so much we're the everything now show we come do on this now. show four nights a week come on now come on now come on now come on now you hang out with luke taylor is. for two hours and you're talking funny for a lifetime that's what i say we do this show what's four up nights a week every monday tuesday thursday and saturday so come on back look it looks like i'm sitting on the bench looks like it does bench. that so kind of cool back on that's monday. crazy and follow I'm, the show if you haven't followed the show yet and i'm playing pinball follow everything down here do all that, that good thing. stuff. Subscribe to the YouTube. There's over a thousand hours of YouTube for you to watch. It's a lot of YouTube for one person. So enjoy it. And uh, follow our Discord. Join our Discord, I mean. Everything. The image submission games are all in there. Um, follow the Hangout channel. Follow the Hangout channel. Like where we do more that. casual shit, gaming, talking, shooting the shit, whatever. It's going to be cool shit. All that cool stuff. But that's all... You know, we got that out of the way. Now let's talk about our incredible guests. Oh We're so happy to have had on the show tonight. So shouts out to you guys. We're going to clear the frame so you can pose, technically. But Jack, please, come on out as well. Give it up for Jack, Jesse, and Luke. Come on out, everyone. Do a little pose for us, folks. CEO BBQ100 says, so it was all fake. Really good. Okay. Really <laughs> good. All fucking fake. None of that was real. Uh, let's get into the plugs. Jesse, would you like to start? Oh, I can start. Yeah. So I'm, I go by Dead Blossom Jesse, uh, twitch.tv oh, slash Dead Blossom Jesse. And I've got a bunch of uh, cool sh stuff. Uh, I do a bunch of cool stuff on my show. It's true. Uh, next week, next, next Saturday, actually, one week from today, I'm going to do a show called Rules Room. It's a big production, um, kind of like a Saw Trap vibe. Rocky is going to be on that show, in fact, uh, which I'm very, very excited to have him on. Me and too, it's going to be a great fucking show. Yeah. Excited. So if, if there's one you catch, I'll be yeah. there too. If, if there's one that you catch, catch that one. I'll be there yeah. too. Absolutely. Catch that one. And I'm gonna. And be what there was that? Too. That's the mark. I'm gonna be there too. I was just. I was just gonna say that anytime I see Jesse well. online, I'm like, you know, I'm gonna be watching DBJ, and I'm you laughing my butt off. DBJ. You know, I'm getting in DBJ's chat. And I'm we... laughing my crack off, dude. Luke the Luke Man you know Taylor. What the it is. I, can I say something up top? No. I, no, just really quick, is that, Jake, when you told me the rules for this format, I legitimately was like, I'm gonna do it straight, I'm gonna follow the rules, and and I, that didn't happen tonight, but I'd like to make a promise to you guys and to your audience that I, next time I will follow the rules and I'll do and I'll do it right. Perfect. Did you really think that? Twitch.tv slash, you... Twitch TV slash the Luke man. Let me plug your shit in. Is Did that you really promise? think that or what? Is that a promise? I really thought that. I really thought that. It's okay, Luke. I had a lot of fun. I think the show was pretty much a success. And I'm sorry that we made fun of your head. It's okay. 
Jack, do you have anything you'd like to talk about? Yeah, March 16th at the Yard Theater at 7 p.m. Got a show, would love to see people there. And then something more important than that, Walk through the vineyard and plump up the grapes. Check out my backside and my flaps winner. Do a flaps winner. Yeah, flaps winner. Yeah, blow up my grapes and not drag you low right now. Woo! We didn't plump the grapes now. They were always flopping till the grapes out of something. <laughs> There's something there. There's something there for sure. All right, we got to get the fuck out of here. Folks, join us on Monday for an all-new Freaky episode boys. of Everything Now Show at 7 p.m. What a Pacific. wonderful show. What a wonderful uh, little stream. And also, have you announced the thing we're doing? Holy oh, shit, motherfucker. Oh, Anonymous. Anonymous. Nah, it's over. We missed it. <laughs> no, <laughs> god damn it. Fuck. What? Are you, do it again. No. It was really good. It was quite really good. What was he singing? Really good. It was semi charmed. What was the parody? Life. It was semi charmed life. I want plumper grapes. Uh, we're gonna bring a sandwich. <laughs> bring sandwich. Semi flap kind yeah. of grape. Hell yeah, sandwich. Plum, plum, probably gonna be on our show I next month. Maybe probably in our calendar grapes. already. Tell them we say hi. Tell them we think they're cool as hell. And hi, uh, Sam. Hi, hi, Sam in the chat. Oh my gosh, everyone. Uh, thanks for everyone who watched who hasn't seen our show before and was willing to give it a try. Uh, we love you and appreciate you and hope to see you at the next one. Peace. Bye, everybody. Bye. 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 We love you. Rawr. You guys are nuts. Thank you, Polycubic. <laughs>